Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The First Step here on GDQ Hotfix. I'm your host, Kizron, and I'm joined, as always, by the PB machine himself, Jay Hobbs. Hobbs, what the heck? <laughs> Hello, welcome. I don't, whatever could you be talking about? Also, I thought for sure you were going to say, and I'm joined, as always, by my good friend, Thomas Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout outs to, to Thomas Patrick WX real quick. Good old T-Pat. <laughs> Uh, I have an internet outage. It was scheduled, so we were aware of this, but I, I had an internet outage at my house, and TPAT has graciously allowed me to overtake <laughs> his computer setup for the next, you know, two and a half hours. So, thanks, TPAT. Hi, Keith. Uh, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Anyway, what are we doing today, Hobbs? Uh, we are continuing our month of Kingdom Hearts versus Pokemon uh, to show you all that if you want to get into speedrunning, you don't have to go about it in super, you know, uh, really grindy, hard practice ways. You can just get into running a game you really like. And even if you uh, don't know somebody who wants to run the same game, then find a different game and just race against them, a game that will just be a similar estimate. And so uh, that's what we're doing this month. We're doing Kingdom Hearts versus Pokemon. And today we are doing Pokemon Crystal versus Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. So we did two Pokemon games today instead of, <laughs> instead of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> and to be clear, I will be doing a category extension. Category extensions are a great way to... Uh, play games in a different way in a speedrun setting. You don't have to do the traditional route of any percent or glitchless or 100% or anything like that. Uh, category extensions also kind of expand the idea that we try to show you all at home with speedrunning that if you play it fast in a certain way, you're a speedrunner. It doesn't even have to necessarily be a category. So I will be doing Defeat Lance. So we're not going to see Kanto at all. I mean, technically we are, I guess, but we're not going to see Kanto at all. I'm going to end at the Elite Four, which cuts out about 50 minutes or so of the run. It's about the only way I can really think of to uh, keep up with Hobbs and his, you know, world record pace runs all of a sudden. Oops. I'm still like 20 minutes off world record, my friend. <laughs> and well, at the, at the rate that you're improving, you're going to get at the show. <laughs> every 10 minutes. Or PB by 10 minutes every time, yeah. <laughs> And you're just doing you're just doing the regular route. For I'm doing practice. any percent new game. Uh, the fastest method, like fastest category for this, would be any percent new game plus. Um, but I haven't really played this game casually, and so I didn't know how to make a new game plus file in, a, <laughs> in an expedited manner. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm doing new game. And meanwhile, and I am, I'm here with uh, I'm here without manips at all because uh, it makes sense now now that. Uh, we have the whole I'm over at T-Bat's place. Uh, different setups can lead to uh, different reaction times for Manips. Uh, a lot of a lot of veteran runners of GDQ events might might have something to say about that because go, going from your home setup to a completely different setup can and a lot of times will mess with you. So this is completely no Manip on my part. The only thing that I did was for the sake of stopping any you know, 10, 20 minute blocks of resetting and falling behind even more. I already have my Toto dial ready. I think it's a good Toto dial, so hopefully everything goes well. Yeah, so Keys is going to be starting from already having the starter and then continuing on through the rest of the game to beat Lance. Uh, and I'm just going to start at the, the beginning and go to the end. Uh, I do have some luck involved. There's one glitch I'm going to be doing that if you blink, you'll miss it uh, because it's really fast. But I'll talk about that when we get to it. That's going to be much later in the run. Otherwise, totally glitchless run, just a lot of cool movement and uh, and a lot of, uh, let's say, unique boss strategies. Really more like one unique <laughs> boss strategy that we'll use a lot. Uh, it should be fun. <laughs> well, before we get started, I just want to remind everyone of a couple of announcements real quick. Don't forget that Frost Vitale's 2023 prize submissions are open and they're open until the 20th of February. So go to gamesandquick.com for more information on that. You can also use the chat command exclamation point prizes. Uh, find out how to submit your prizes that way. While you're on the GDQ site, you can find out loads of information about anything and everything GDQ related, including upcoming events, current events, etc., etc. And on the topic of upcoming events as well, we have Unapologetically Black and Fast, which is going to be February 11th through the 12th. Celebrate Black Excellence and Speedrunning coming up real soon. Exclamation point UBAF in chat. For more information on that, Obs, I'm I always love playing Crystal, and I love doing Crystal on Hotfix, so I'm I'm mm. excited and I'm ready to go whenever you. I I am ready to go as well. I'm sitting here ready to start. All right, well, let's go ahead and start in three, two, one, 
Go. Good luck, friend. All right. Good luck to you, too. And uh, I'm going to let you talk because I'm just going to be doing a forced tutorial fight after some cutscene skips for a bit. And you, because you started from the starter, are going to be moving already. Yeah. So I cut out about like two, two and a half minutes by getting my starter already. Uh, it has perfect attack and then really good stats everywhere else. So I, I, spent, a, I spent a long time resetting for this. But uh, right now, I just got to do the usual walk to one spot, deal with like a fetch quest, and then we'll eventually get to play again. Um, I did try to set my time to a specific time, uh, so I could run in Centrit during the day and Poliwag during the night when I have Pokeballs, but uh, I miscalculated that, and it's going to turn nighttime way earlier than I want to. Also, I'm getting absolutely destroyed by encounters. I'm, I'm, I have I have your your gameplay, Bob's, and just the Ursula's face. Yeah. <laughs> whacking her slow in the face yeah so that was my little tutorial fight um we have if you caught the birth by sleep episode um the combat to this game is very similar in that we use a command deck and uh, just a list of commands in the bottom left corner we can edit which commands we have available to us at any given time and uh we can use those or we can use basic attacks we're almost never going to use basic attacks <laughs> we will a little at the beginning but that's about it um and now i'm in the first replacement for gummy missions in this game which is uh, called a dive and uh, we're going to have to do a bunch of these throughout the run and these I am bad at and it's unfortunate because if you want to uh, save the most time you need to get an A rank on every one of these dives because it will get you um, the most powerful keyblade available to us for this run and uh I might ruin that on this very first one because I'm really you're, bad at you're it. You're just playing oh, Pokemon geez. Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. This is just the it's just the portals. Oh, please. Yeah, the problem is they love to do this thing in this, and it, yeah, I'm probably not gonna get an A rank already. Where the targeting will just like take complete control away from you for a second. You'll target onto something right as you're about to uh, press X to dive. So if I get a B rank here, then I get to have less stress for the rest of the run. Oh, I got an A rank. Okay. <laughs> you got but an A after good. all that? Yes. Um, that, I mean, it's the first one. It should be easy, but it's not. And uh, <laughs> now I'm going to be using the movement tech for this game called Flow Motion. We're going to be using this almost the entire run. Um, and it's uh, basically it allows us to infinitely climb up walls if we want and lets us do these really fast dashes. I was supposed to enter that. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to have to do a force fight that I don't know how to do, so that's Hooray. not good. Um, I was supposed to enter a tutorial in order to skip this fight. I hope it's short. Oh, I just, boy. Uh, I just picked up the mystery egg, you know, my fetch quest here. Uh, pretty dire for you. And yeah, this is uh, not great. This is not what you, not what you wanted to see here. I mean, it's what oh, yeah. you wanted to see, but... You got a confetti candy. <laughs> you got strength. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that'll be helpful. <laughs> will it, Will it though? <laughs> no. Oh. We, there are some points where we need to grind, so like getting a little bit of experience means that I will, uh, you know, be able to skip maybe a little bit of that later, but th that, was, that was bad. But it's okay. Now, I I'm going to get... I picked up an optional berry there because, you know, I, I don't want to die. We, we died plenty last week, so let's, let's avoid that. Uh, now I'm getting introduced to my Pokemon, my first Pokemon. It's called Meow Wow. <laughs> it's Pikachu! <laughs> it's, it is not. Oh, and it does not have blue eyes. Bad luck already. Okay. Uh, as is customary, I need to name it TFS. TFS! Uh, <laughs> so we will. Oh boy, I'm not happy about that. What am I going to need to do? Purple eyes? I'll have to poke its tail later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You want to explain to the class why the eyes matter? Um, yeah. So, well, actually, I'll talk about it more later. Okay. Um, when it Because it's going to be a little bit more relevant there. But just know that what I'm doing right now, I'm basically going to have to do again later. Uh, right now, I'm having to do this because I'm having to pet the Eevee, basically, because of the tutorial. Uh, but later on, we're going to need to change the, uh, the disposition of our character here. Ooh, okay. I have... So we already knew I had perfect attack. I have really good defense. I have 14 or 15 DV special, and then my speed is... Oh, my speed's just about anything besides perfect. So hooray! 
Well, isn't that great for you? Oh, it's great. <laughs> I, I'm giving you the nature resets. <laughs> All right, so now I am dropping to Riku uh, because the whole mechanic of this game is that you are bouncing between two characters over and over. And you can decide to do that at will, but it will also happen automatically either in specific story points or um, or after enough time if you're not paying attention to a specific gauge. Uh, all of our gauges. drops should happen when we're expecting, so shouldn't be a big deal. H O B. All right, there we go. Are you naming me? Jayhawk <laughs> was his name. Uh, I had to. Of course. Oh, no. I gotta stop. No, stop hitting things. <laughs> All right. I think this will still be an A rank, though, because I think it's based on how quickly you comp uh, complete the uh, objective and not how quickly you get to the end. So maybe not the fastest thing, but should be an A rank at least. I'm hoping. Okay, that was not fair. <laughs> Just stole targeting from me at the last second. All right, so unfortunately, because it's already nighttime, I can't catch Sentret. You need Sentret to use Cut. So my options now are a Bell Sprout, which better later than earlier, because earlier it only has Vine Whip and horrible. Um, or an Oddish, if it really comes down to that, and that would be really, really. Ah, oh, for first tile encounter, very good. There, see, you you have to you have to improve your meowth, and I have to bum rush repels. Well, first I'm gonna get a shiny Zubat real quick. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> yeah, we you got your shiny it. before my shiny. What a scam! <laughs> uh, this one has blue eyes. Okay, so that's good. So at least I don't need to change both of them. Um, and of course, we, as is customary, we will name this one TFS Two. <laughs> <laughs> this is very important for uh, anyone learning this game. You have to name it these, or else it won't yes. work. Not true. At all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now I'm going to do what I was supposed to do with Sora as well, which is I'm actually skipping a forced fight by entering a tutorial. Um, it's a, a combat tutorial, and if I do this, I can actually quit out of it once I gain control, and it will skip the forced fight. So that's what I was supposed to do with Sora as well. And now it's going to switch us back to Sora, and we're going to use an attack uh, from Flow Motion to. Uh, okay, well, it's going to. There we go. To activate this panel and uh, continue on through the game. I am going to start picking up some uh, chests in various spots, and this is where you're going to see how I can kind of infinitely climb up walls. Uh, intended game mechanic, not like a glitch or anything. I, I ran into the polywag that I needed, and it got in the first ball, so that's cool. Nice. Uh, I don't want polywag to be alone in nicknames, so I'm going to name him B. <laughs> oh, excuse me, name her B. So we have A, the Totodile, and B, the polywag. I think I'm sensing a theme. Hmm. Uh, okay, there we go. So in addition to being able to flow motion off of, like, walls and stuff, certain... We're just playing um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle now. <laughs> yeah, certain rails will uh, do it. I'm going to kill this enemy for a little bit of experience, and also uh, I need the chest behind them. Most of the chests I'm going to be getting here are to sell, uh, because we need to get some early items. I really don't think you're playing Kingdom Hearts at all. You're just playing this weird combination of Pokemon and Sonic. I mean, that's basically what Kingdom Hearts is. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. It's a weird combination <laughs> of two IPs. <laughs> You bring up a good point. I shall, okay. call, I shall call it Heart of the Kingdom. <laughs> so a few more items to sell. One over here. The movement is uh, really fun in this run, but it is a little bit kind of clunky to get used to. But it is good. Uh, now, dope. Oh, I was trying to hit the wall behind me because it was the closest wall, but I messed up. I see another polywag. I'm going to kill it first. That's, that's a round thing, but it isn't a polywag. It's a hoot hoot. Okay. 
So a lot of the skill of like moving around in this run is knowing how to maximize the dashes um, and minimize the amount of time that you're kind of like waiting in air. Uh, like if I get near a door, I can't actually go through a door until I get to the end of my animation. I'm going the wrong way. Pick up this emergency potion. Again, just race safety. Please open the chest. Thank you. All right. So now I'm going to be doing a big shop. Now that I've collected everything I need. Oh, yeah. I could have just dashed. I forgot that it, there's a cutscene here. I'm going to take a safety save before this first trainer because the crit could be death. Uh. You're also going to see both of us reference notes a lot on <laughs> another screen. Um, very much needed. I do not have most of this memorized yet. Uh, yeah, and since I'm doing Manipolis, the route at the beginning is pretty similar. I think there's very little differences, but... Uh, oh, wait. Oops, there's more. Yeah. For the, for the rest of the run, the original run with Manip, you Ryko now. I'm not manipping, I'm sticking with Alligator, and it's been so long since I've done legitimate runs of it. It's it's hard to remember throughout, so I too will be looking at that. I got all this random stuff I can sell, this is great. Normally I'm like super low on money here. Uh, okay, now I need to buy enough Vibrant Figments to get to three, and then I need to buy as many water barrels as possible. Oh, yes, I normally get like 15 or 16, I got 17, excellent. Uh, I'm going to create a new party member. Uh, she's going to do like this. And can you all guess what we're going to name this one? EFS3? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> no, of course not. Why would we name it that when we can name it Wooloo? <laughs> 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 Ah, too many O's. Okay, there we go. I think that's how it's spelled. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's correct. You did it. <laughs> All right. Yay. We uh, this one Lulu. has eyes that we don't care about, thankfully. So. Yeah, so okay. My, my beginning game is press the A button because rage in Gen 2 is pretty strong. Every time you take a hit, you do more damage. And the stacks are essentially infinite. So, it's funny because it's a garbage move in in the gen uh, in Gen One. <laughs> they fixed it. It's it's the worst move in Gen One. Yeah, it is horrible, unspeakably bad. Um. So yeah, those. I talked about the eye color mattering earlier. So the types of abilities we can get from these party members, because we're gonna unlock abilities from them, uh, are determined by their disposition, or effectively kind of like a, a nature for uh, Pokemon. And uh, I need this one to get blue eyes so that it has a uh, a disposition of uh, something, whatever the blue eyes is. And this is taking forever, and I knew it would do this because I've gotten extremely good luck every run I've done, and I knew on TFS it would be very bad luck. Come on. Look, it, it's it's just trying... Meowth's just trying to help me out a little okay? <laughs> There's a reason I'm a dog person. It's because of this cat right here. <laughs> <laughs> EFS made you a dog person. Yeah. Come on. I just have to keep poking its tail until its eyes turn blue. I don't... I think it's just, like, random how long this could take. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> it's absurd. P please. Please. Come on. Just, just turn your eyes blue! <laughs> I think I have 14 deep. Not quite max, but pretty close. I'm mashing the crap out of this X button. <laughs> <laughs> it won't change. It won't change, Keys. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There, there it, goes. it okay. is. It's a smart cookie <clears throat> now. Good. Oh, smart cookie, my. Uh, all right. Uh, so now, <laughs> so now I'm going to use water barrels over and over on 3DS. You actually had to, uh, oops, you actually had to use these 
Um, but on the HD version, they let you quit out and you still get uh, the benefits of them. What we want to see are really high LP numbers over like 20 to 25. Uh, and I'm not getting that, but oh well. I love the, the pinball background. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I mean, it's a little mini game you're supposed to do, but instead we just exit. I think you might get more LP if you actually do it, but it would take forever, so. Look at how happy TFS is, though. Ah, oh, this Thomas sheep. This this Wulu is just not getting <laughs> enough uh, <laughs> enough LP, man. All right, so we're done with our first gym. We're all healed up. I have to pick up this egg. It's part of the story. It's a Togepi egg. We're never gonna hatch it unless I somehow forget to deposit it. That'd be pretty impressive. Because one, one of the mechanics of the PC up until Gen 8, so before Gen 1, or before Gen 2, so Gen 1 and Gen 8 onward, um, you didn't get any benefit using the PC other than storage, but Gens 2 through 7, if something is put in the PC, it is fully healed. So at one point in time, I'm going to heal doing Eventually. Ah, one bad LP gains here. It'll probably be okay, because we have at least a little bit, uh, a few more water barrels than I'm used to. But I might not be able to get all my abilities right away. I might have to just kind of go without one, one or two uh, I'm early on. Stepping in a bunch of extra grass to grab this super potion in case stuff goes wrong, because I still need to run into a bell sprout and somehow, subway, I haven't seen a single encounter. <laughs> Yay! Hey, bell there it is. <laughs> You just How had to complain did I make it harder. That far? I had to complain. That's why. For the record, I have started losing time on my uh, PB split here, and uh, I'll let you know when we actually split. <laughs> That's how rough this has been. All right, All right the crit on Bell Sprout was nice. This is a guaranteed catch now. Thank goodness. It also didn't use Vine Whip. Thank goodness. <laughs> Everything's coming up keys right now. Yeah. The heck. All right, so I'm now going to get all the abilities. That was why we wanted to do all of this. Um, some of these we're going to sell, but most of them we are going to be using. Uh, we're going to get a lot of, like, magic haste, for example. Uh, and a magic boost right here. And another magic haste here. So, wow, we had plenty on that one. Uh, and then we go down to magic boost. Right here. Also gonna try to do a skip I just learned about that I failed apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I I haven't seen it actually happen yet. I've just apparently you can skip a little animation if you switch characters at the perfect timing. Oh, we had just enough. Let's go. Oh, look left or up. Oh, he still turned anyway. Okay, so I hit I hit a spinner. This is a terrible spinner to hit, but. It's only terrible because it wastes time. And it means I can skip a different trainer later. But he juked me out. He tricked me. <laughs> All right, I was able to get everything that I wanted to get, so that's good. Uh, wait, wait, just go here. And then we'll do this, because that'll get us here quickly enough. Oh, right. why did you miss? I need you to hit me. We don't have water guns, so I have to use rage. That's why it's slow. All right, and uh, now you're all going to get introduced to the most powerful spell for the speedrun of this game, um, which is uh, balloons. <laughs> what? And I'm not kidding. Yeah, so unfortunately, we only have a regular balloon right now. We really need him to come over here. Uh, we want to use balloon ra later. Names. Is that, is that actually just balloons? It's balloons, yeah. What's what's the lore behind it? Uh, they wanted to put balloons in the video game. <laughs> oh, well. there we go. I lost two and a half minutes to that garbage <laughs> of poking it in the face. Hooray! I mean, no, no. Uh, <laughs> and doing the one uh, fight I was wasn't supposed to do. But we were able to get all the abilities at least, which is good because that has not really happened to me much.
Yeah, as, as Michion put in chat, the elements of fire, ice, thunder, and balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sounds right to me. Yeah. And now I need to get an A rank on this next uh, dive because this one will give me Balloonra as a command. And uh, we're going to need a lot of Balloonras. Okay, I'm saving before this spinner because this spinner is... It, it's not a guaranteed game over, but it might as well. I'm a genius! He hit me! I saved! Yay! Wow. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Safety and my speedrun? What are you uh, doing? Unbelievable. Okay, we dodged him now. Good. Good. Full heal to be safe. Alright. Our objective for this dive is to pop 150 balloons. So it's all about balloons. So I'm just uh, trying to make sure I get the big groups as much as I can. Uh, here, I guess. All right, that better be an A rank because I really need it to be an A rank. <laughs> okay, good. So what would have happened if it wasn't an I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would have been very sad. That's what would have happened. Would have been one way to find out. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, we aren't actually going to spend very long in this world yet. This is the Pinocchio world. Um, we're actually just going to hop in here for an item. And then, uh, and that Balloonra that we got from the dive. And we'll come back later, but we don't need to uh, do this right now. That was not correct. Flow motion is really wonky to control sometimes. It looks cool when it works, though. Yeah. All right. Uh, now we go to the grid, which I went the wrong way around, but that's fine. We're going to Tron World. I love Tron World. Yeah. Yeah, there's some cool worlds in this game. Uh, I'm Back fighting a, tail a boss. I'm going to do 8 damage quick attack. Ah, oh, this Totodile is getting beat up right now. So these bosses can be some of the trickiest um, dives to deal with. Because they generally have uh, cycle skips or phase skips to them. Uh, this one we don't really have. I just want to get a two cycle. It's like the fastest you can do it, and it shouldn't be too bad. But we are going to fight it again later in a more upgraded form where it will be significantly harder to get a two cycle. I'm in pain. Uh oh. Five health. On Oh, wait, no, that was on C. <laughs> I, was, I just yeah. glanced over. Yeah, C. That's how, that, You can't spell Bellsprout without C. C for critical. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> critical member of the team. So we just learned water gun last last fight. So now we're just gonna spam water gun for a while. Hooray! Oh, that was a terrible roll. Un Unhooray! Unhooray! I'm no longer happy. <laughs> so it's very unlikely to knock out that Zubat in two. We didn't, we couldn't even pretend it was possible. Now. Also, for the record, Tron Legacy World. <laughs> oh, I got poison. Help. Help. This Totodile is getting bullied. <laughs> oh, I never actually hit that rail before. That was cool. All right, we're definitely picking up the super potion. We still have our bitter berry equipped. Uh, anyone who plays more modern Pokemon, it's it's the Gen 2 version of Persian berries. Those can because you know a, a bitter berry is exactly what I think of when I don't want to be. Yeah. 
Why? Why does berry no sweet? <laughs> why does berry be bitter? <laughs> exactly. It actually secretly confuses you so much that you become less confused overall. <laughs> All right, boarding the Solar Sailor. I need to get a few more um, items out of chess. The first one is going to be Balloonra, another one of them. We're gonna use a lot of them in this run, so we need as many as we can get. Oh, Zora looks so it. cool. What? Why am I getting hit? <laughs> uh, we're gonna make this turret auto-destruct by hacking it. Yeah, we did it, we hacked that's, it. That's how you hack. Yep. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I was a professional, oh, whoops, programmer. Uh, that's how you hack. Everyone knows. Uh, okay. Uh, I trust you. I'm not a professional programmer. <laughs> yes. Here's the Balloonra. A little bit sloppy movement, but like I said, it's really hard to do efficient movement with uh, with this, uh, with flow motion. I, I'm, at, I'm at one of your... Three favorite parts of the game, Ops, because this is the part where when I start a fight, it's da 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. The best part of Crystal. Yeah. Okay, another chess. Well, I have no potions. I have super potion. We have a... Uh, oh, right. We have not had a good time. Oh, and he's missing all of his attacks now, so I could have just not healed. Oh, come on. And then I crit. I shouldn't have healed. Ah, uh, healing's for cowards. <laughs> I gold Imagine healing point. when you were actually okay all along. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm supposed to do a menu. Uh, let's do that before I accidentally spawn something. Uh, so we need... Nope, you go there. Nope, no. <laughs> what the heck? Menu. Why? All right fine got there eventually yeah uh and now we're going to equip the mo the the good the good stuff it's it's balloon run balloon <laughs> all balloons yep all balloons all day now balloons being this good in a run is that something that you think people could have figured out from a casual standpoint, or is this uh, like a hey speedrunners looked and realized that there is something good from, about it? From everybody who's been in my chat in the last like <laughs> week, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Stop hitting me! Oh my god! This this totodile! This totodile is a monster! I've ah. I've crit three turns in a row. I've saved three turns. Wow! It's making it's up even... for the thirty encounters that I got earlier. <laughs> It's not even based on base speed anymore. <laughs> no, he's, I'm just rolling, rolling lucky, I guess. All right, that fight went pretty poorly, but that's okay. Yeah, on this side of the screen, look, this fight is immaculate. This fight is fantastic. <laughs> on your side of the screen, that was horrible. I hate it here. Yeah, I got stunlocked for a while. Uh, but what you want to see more of Traverse Town? Yes. They, they, they made more of it. <laughs> more than just the two screens? Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, the movement is definitely the reason to run this. Uh, I unfortunately spawned enemies there. I didn't mean to, so I'm going to have to go back and forth through the rooms here since I need to touch a save point for later warping. That I got. That's why I'm going to save before this... Benny, and he's... Okay, that was not how I wanted it to go, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Good, killed a few enemies there, just hit level 3. Well, I'm glad I saved, because I hit him immediately. And he, he's facing a direction that doesn't favor me. I saved, so I figure I could just go. Alright, second try passed, that's fine. Alright, now I'm gonna go fight the same boss we just fought with Sora, pretty much. Um, 
it's just slightly different version of it. Uh, a slightly more annoying version of it, to be more uh, specific, I guess. But now we have Balloon Ra, as you can see, and with Balloon Ra, the neat thing is that these... I'm trying to uh, get the enemy to work with me here, but it's not. Okay. Um, the nice thing about Balloon Ra is that the attacks will home in on the enemy instead of just being placed on the ground like with the balloons. Meanwhile, I'm just mashing rage. <laughs> I can die in this fight, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. It's funny with the the Totodile's sprite to think of it as being just a being of unbridled rage. Yeah. <laughs> in this run. <laughs> He's just like, I'm Hi. filled with anger. Hi. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to meet you. It's just it's the, embrace he's, death now. Yeah. <laughs> he's just the the blue cousin of uh, Fue Coco. He's just like hi, <laughs> we're friends, right? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna go to Prankster's Paradise with Riku as well. Uh, however, we're actually gonna complete this world as opposed to with Sora, where we just dipped in briefly and left. We actually haven't finished any world but Traverse Town with Sora, and that we will change that. Uh, kind of soon, but oh, stop hitting things, please. All right, so fighting fighting hard. that spinner earlier, I mentioned that we're skipping an optional trainer for that. We fight the optional trainer because it's probably the easy trainer for us to take out. Uh, it gives us enough experience to hit Croconaw right at the end of the Bugsy fight, and we need Croconaw to beat Rival. Team. It, it is not... It, there's, there's no universe where you're winning besides you miss Razor League 30 times. I don't think you should hit Croc and I. I think you should use him instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Croc and I's gonna get hit though. I can't help that. <laughs> I keep getting hit myself. I'm bad at the dives, as I hope I made clear. <laughs> Still hoping to get A ranks though. Like I said, all A ranks gets you a really good Keyblade, which I've not yet gotten in a single run, <laughs> but. Still alive here. Oh, we got Fury Cutter. Nope. Let me not swing at Geppetto. <laughs> Save because this is this is the most common place to die when you're a Toad die. I guess a crocodon. All right, still need some items here and there. And we're going to be doing. I, I didn't explain what these are called. They're called reality shifts. Um, when you interact with like various objects or bosses. Uh. I don't know that much about this game casually. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oops. Alright, no. hardest part hardest part of the fight here. We need Bayleaf to cooperate and not crit us with uh We need to not miss and we need to not get crit. Alright, let a poison powder. That's uh, I need to go here. How did I gold and lost a second? What? <laughs> Life split, you make no sense. Okay, well, we got past the hardest part of the fight. I can still die here. Hopefully I don't. Okay. Welcome to uh, my most hated boss in these dives, Vespaquen. <laughs> uh, and it's because she sends these worker bees after you, and you need to take them out but they kind of spread around in ways that you can't always see all of them. Okay, good. And if you don't take all four of them out at once, it's real bad. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I'm getting so unlucky here. I'm not going to be able to one cycle her, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, that sucks. You really want to one cycle her? Poor Vespa Queen. Can't believe you're bullying her. <laughs> Listen, she bullied me first. That's fair. All right, we got past Rival 2. Fight was weird, but we're past it. The hardest fight in the game.
All right. At least we two-cycled, but that was not as good as I would have liked. It is what it is. Should still be an A rank, I think. They don't expect people to really one-cycle it. Yeah. That one kind of matters because we need that, uh, that water barrel for later. Now we're in Hunchback World. Uh, also known as France. <laughs> <laughs> we actually go to France twice in this game. Because we go to uh, Land of the Musketeers, I think it's called, and the City of Bells. Uh, I need to touch the save point. Go this way. And get this chest. He learned cut. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Every now and then you're going to see me kill um, an <clears throat> enemy or two just because sometimes they uh, give enough experience to be worth it. Pick up headbutt. Pick up headbutt. Pick up headbutt. You don't normally do this. Do you just not normally because of manips or something and you need it? Yeah, you, you uh, skip okay. it entirely because uh, the fight against Rival 3 ends up being different and then after Rival 3, I go anyway. Mm. So, a nice little time Makes save sense. to skip this. But since we're going all the way, i rather I rather not skip it. Yeah. I don't know why that hasn't been killing lately. All right. This part is just a lot of me having to know exactly where to go. Uh, including save warping. It's always interesting going back to a game that you have played in a randomized manner for so long. Because <laughs> there's so many items that I just didn't pick up and I had I had to tell myself mentally over and over. Don't do don't, it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. You'll regret it. You don't <laughs> you don't need to pick up the sweet scent, TM. Yeah. Alright, I'm now going to be using the heat of the burning city in order to fly. Uh and uh try to defeat this boss. I said no to a bike. I'm too busy watching you. <laughs> You don't need a bike. Ah, you're right. No! Okay, it died. All right, I was like, please just die from the balloons that I already put out there. That was good. That was a good world. All right, I got my bike. We're schmoving now. Nice. And we're going to pick up Kenya here. Um, Kenya is a Spiro with mail attached and you're supposed to deliver it to someone, but we just, we just take it. <laughs> now I'm gonna go through the place affectionately referred to as Spinner Hell. Almost hit someone. And I hit someone already. All right, very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's fine. Remember what I do again, I hit him. Oh, I keep forgetting about this. These are like awful. I hate this dive. It's it's so dumb. But we got through it rel the the hard part relatively unscathed, so that's good. Oh, didn't see that. <laughs> you know, I walked by a couple of ethers and I was like, ah. Uh, unless it's an emergency, I won't need. I kind of wish. To. <laughs> you know, the I, I usual. Just keep running into buildings. <laughs> I 
Hopefully that's still an A rank. It's not! No! <laughs> Alright, so Riku can't get Dive Wing now. The uh, the most powerful Keyblade. Uh, Sora can still get it, though. And that would be helpful. Hey, Hart, did now... you know you can use Cut to get rid of Grass? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Because you taught don't. me. A lot of people don't. Yeah. That saves half a second on average what I just did. <laughs> you taught me when I learned Crystal Rando. Yeah. It's silly. Really silly thing. Uh, I'm playing Light Cycle now. <laughs> huh. This is uh, pretty much the closest thing I'm going to have to an auto scroller in this run. Um, there's not a whole lot going on. I'm just mashing the change mode button because for some reason that makes you go faster. <laughs> And then at the end of it, we'll have a little boss fight that is mostly just RNG in terms of how fast it'll go. Did you know that Whitney's gym is shaped like... I did not. That's, that's, my, that's my commentary of this particular moment. <laughs> Why isn't it shaped like a mill tank? I, because it was never the mill tank, Hobbs. <laughs> That has been made abundantly clear. I'm in Whitney's gym. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got hit. Okay, almost done with this part. I would say that this world, unfortunately, is probably my least favorite for Riku. It's fine for Sora. But just in terms of, like, the required story things we have to do. And I'm very obviously going to save before. I, I need Clefairy to not mess this up. And I need to land every single Fury Cutter known to man. <laughs> Alright, so we want to see this boss come up and try to melee attack us as much as possible. That's a good start. Because <clears throat> we don't really care about the damage, and uh, it's still in range to shoot if it's doing that attack. Hey, that was as good as it could be, I think. I'm trying to pull this run back, Keys. Metronome, sir. We'll get that soon. <laughs> Okay, so Clefairy didn't do too much to us, which is good. I just need to not miss Fury Cutters. Missing a Fury Cutter at this point is much death. Items, Keyblades, Guardian Bell. So we're putting on a Keyblade we're going to use a lot called Guardian Bell. Um, the main reason we're going to use a lot is because it has a really good magic stat. And uh, Balloons are magic. Everyone knows this. Of course. Yeah. Did I not? Oh, no. Here we go. I was like, did I not go to the right place? Just didn't recognize the camera angle for some reason. All right, the poetic thing about hitting that spinner is the way that our experience lined up. So we got Fury Cutter from Bugsy, and we used it from after Bugsy all the way to the very last turn of Whitney. And then we learned Bite over it. So it's, it's just gone. We don't need it. The Whitney fight went great. All my hard fights are going great. I'm just hitting optional trainers. <laughs> Isn't that just great for you? <laughs> well, the optional trainers aren't exactly helping me with well, my time save here. Fair enough. I meant more of the hard fights going great. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's great for me. Absolutely. My enemies are unfortunately spreading out, and in any RPG, you pretty much always want to corral enemies together. We're going to do that as an option play. Yeah, I especially want the enemies to stay grouped together in this game because the balloons, the regular balloons, uh, do not, you know, home in. It's just a uh, balloon ra that does. I think you are the last enemy. Just died. you are not the last enemy. What is alive? Okay. All right. So the 
The PowerPoint count and the experience count kind of lines up in an interesting way because we hit winner. So I'm actually going to underground early and knocking out these trainers. It'll it'll help out later. It'll help out later. There's a little bit of time loss, but it, it adds to some consistency. So we kill that enemy real quick because we can. And, whoa. And uh, we still need to worry about experience a little bit. Uh, ideally, I didn't have to kill all three of these. Oh, am I that under experience? Look, you might be under experience, but you look cool. <laughs> um, can, can you die, please? Okay, there we go. Wow, yeah, I was very under experienced for some reason. Not really sure why, but we fixed it. Yeah, these two trainers are horribly underleveled, and they'd be even more underleveled later. But we do have to fight them no matter. They are required trainers, fighting them all. Alright. I am just working my way towards the boss as quickly as I can land in this elevator, and then we have to wait anyway, so we just dash around a few times. <laughs> <laughs> very, very important. Very important to do. Yeah. It's crucially important. <laughs> Auto-destruct some more turrets. If anyone's wondering, these are random, like, the button prompts that come up. So, I do have to just re react to it. No, please, just activate this. Thank you. All right, we're going to go by Ice Punch because that's that's a really good move. Ready. Buy a couple of X items because it's not a Pokemon run without X items. Of course. Get off the wall. <laughs> so rooms like these are where uh, where the movement is really hard to be good at. It's where a lot of the skill the movement comes in. Having to do like really low to the ground dashes um, and still trying to hit walls to continue doing more uh, flow motion. Up to the wrong guy. I'm lost. down pressing down and it wasn't happening help <laughs> <laughs> oh there are more cutscenes here than i remembered we, we got a glimpse of jeff bridges there for a second <laughs> all right into the fight we go so this fight is pretty much hp gated um Every uh, every so often we have to do a reality shift to be able to progress the boss more. I spent all that time waiting for the perfect time to pass this spinner, and I finally get one, and it tricks me. Uh, it is not running into my balloons on the ground here, which is annoying. There we go. Can't believe I hit every spinner in Spinner Hell. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I am on top of I have never been on top of the boss like this. This is so weird. <laughs> uh I have never seen that. I think it was fast, or maybe I just have overcast. I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh oh, I didn't have overcast, so I think that was fast. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of the rest of the world wasn't, but that's okay. It's fine. I'm I'm hitting extra trainers to make up for tapping you. Okay. <laughs> we got a little bit more to go with Riku before we switch back to Sora.
We need to return back to uh, Frankster's Paradise. I think I said we were going to do the whole thing earlier, but I, uh, that was a lie. I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> now we're now we're finishing it. Movement is hard. There we go. But here's the PC healing I was talking about. Now our crocodile is fully healed. Be nice. Unfortunately, my, my team is no longer ABC Kenya. It's AC Kenya B. It's the strangest alphabet. <laughs> ABC or A, A C Kenya B? <laughs> yep. Like, AC Kenya B. That's funny. A lot happened when I deposited my, my A, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I have a boss fight that can go really poorly if uh this boss wants to move around a lot, so we're going to really hope it doesn't move around a lot. Okay, good. So now it should be a pretty good fight uh, because I was able to get a reality enough damage in to be able to reality shift it. And now we need to do the same thing again. Okay. No! Oh, I didn't get the reality shift that time. All right. Hopefully we can just kill it. Nope. It's being a jerk. All right, we're in the okay. Kimono Girls now, where the strat is mash A for headbutt, because we don't have rage anymore. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, most of the strategy is mash A. Uh, I now have to pay attention to weather patterns, so if uh, you could get T-Pat back on the line, uh, that, would <laughs> that would help me out. Uh, I need to look for a weather... I need to look for Bargain Flurry as a weather option. Okay, I can get to one there if I need to. Uh, and that is going to be what we have to do. So, I think we're just going to drop twice. So, Bargain Flurry is going to make shops cheaper. Um, and... That will happen uh, when I switch between Sora and Riku twice. So, a little bit of a time loss... To have to do this, but it's okay. I, I could have scratched that after that. I didn't think about it. saving headbutt power points is a really smart thing to do right now. But yeah, we need to sell a whole bunch of items. Uh, definitely don't need this. Don't need this. Uh, we need to sell fantasies. You know, it's funny that you mentioned weather stuff. Because uh, Epat's favorite Pokemon is now on my screen. What is it? Is it the Umbreon? The oh. Uh, what else? I'm selling confused. Right. All right. I need to buy a balloon for Balloon Ruz. Uh, Thundara. Thundara is not a balloon. What the heck? It's not. No, I lied to everybody. Uh, three vibrant figments. And now we're going to do a menu. We're going to equip something other than balloon. Two Thundaras to our menu. Um, we need to drop back to Sora. There might be a more efficient way to handle this. Um, but... I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, if you get bad luck, maybe you can uh, avoid having to switch back and forth like that. But I'm We're saving before the Jolteon fight because a critical from Thundershock can kill us. I remember I did one marathon run like six or seven years ago where I was like, ah, there's no way we could die here unless we get crit. And we got crit and I had to walk all the way back. <laughs> You're hubris. <laughs> I had to invent new money strats. And uh, we're still not finishing this world with Sora. It's weird how how long we wait to finish uh, Tron World. We go there twice before 
Like, or we leave twice, rather, before coming back and finishing it. I kind of left three times this time because of the... Uh, the way the weather lined up. So much pain! Now I'm at 5 HP! <laughs> Alright, so by defeating all the Komodo Girls, we get HMO3, which gives us Surf. Surf is a very, very powerful move. Everyone knows. Everyone loves Surf. Rockinaw's gonna get Surf. It's gonna be great. I'm picking up this Hyper Potion, too. Game, stop putting buildings in front of me. <laughs> Gotten so many extra healing items, I'm just gonna heal the full. Safe about. I just gotta get to the end of this. Alrighty. We are coming up on our first break soon. Just to let folks know, we will be pausing and taking a break. Uh, we do this about every hour. So that way we can run some ads to help support the broadcast, but also gives us a, a chance to stand up and stretch and let you all know that, hey, you don't need to do... Uh, all your speedruns, like, all at win one sitting if you don't have a lot of time in your day, especially when you're learning. I should have saved before this fight. You know, the last time we, we did a Kingdom Hearts versus Pokemon, and I was like, I should have saved before this fight. It went horribly awry. So now I'm a little concerned. Uh-oh. Uh, dying is not likely, but neither was getting paralyzed three times in a row. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Uh, meanwhile, I used our first spirit link. We're going to use that, I think, three times in this run. Um, basically, it's like using a limit where we have to... Uh, where, where our... It depends on a party member meter, basically. I do a lot of moving in this section. Uh, there's a force fight here. That, with an enemy that unfortunately just loves to run away. It's really frustrating. There we go. Yeah, we have to kill three of these flower things. Alright, see, we only took five damage. Fine. Yeah. Granted, he used Spite on Surf, and that kind of really sucks, but that's okay. It's not like I need Surfs or anything. I knocked an enemy into the wall. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. They're, they got back out, and now they're beating me up. <laughs> Just die. Thank you. This is <laughs> so slow. Stop hitting me! Okay, it's dead. <laughs> I'm using a lot of bites on Ghastly whenever I'm supposed to surf just because we did lose. Uh, you would use surf over bite because you wouldn't get the super effective text, which does add time, but uh, I need my surfs. Fortunately, we can just ice punch all these Ghastlies. Uh, oh, I landed there. Didn't want to land. That gets rid of the flow motion, but that's fine. You know what's silly about this ghost, Jim Hobbs? What's that? There isn't a single mischievous in here. Isn't it's, that like a, a new Gen 2 ghost Pokemon? Yeah, the, the <laughs> newly introduced it? Generation 2 Pokemon, mischievous is not in this ghost gym. It is... 
Eight Gastlys, five Haunters, and a Gengar. I feel like they could have made some space. Yeah. I get that. Oh, please. Move. All right. So all of this, like, poison-looking stuff on the ground actually increases the drop meter, which is in the bottom right corner. It won't really matter, uh, but basically that would increase how uh, quickly I'd have to forcibly be switched back to Riku. Um, if I were to, like, royally mess up and, and sit in there for a long time, that could be a problem, but it shouldn't be an issue. Like our break is pretty much whenever I I have the I I have the luxury of being able to just sit in the battle. So whenever you're in, yeah. Give me a second here. No problem. I am almost a decent spot. Weirdly enough, it probably is also going to be most convenient for me to be in a battle. Uh, all right. I am ready when you are. All right. Give me a countdown. Uh, yep, just waiting for my Pokemon to come out. It'll be three, two, one, pause. All right. All right, folks. We'll see you in a few minutes after the break. Be sure to stick around, and we'll see you on the other side. Welcome back, everybody, to the first step here on GDQ Hotfix. Thanks so much for sticking through the break and being here for our Pokemon Crystal versus Dream Drop Distance race that we won't know who's winning until we get much, much closer to the end. <laughs> <laughs> How's your I, I run going tell. so far, Keys? I, well, I'm I'm in gym number four. which Okay, out of eight. Out of eight, which, you know, sounds like good progress, especially since we're aiming for two and a half hours right now. There mm. is that long rocket slog I have to go through, but you know, uh, But then we'll you get see. to listen to the music again. Yeah, we'll get to listen to the best music in the game, so yeah. everything's okay. <laughs> well, my run is going okay. I'm about a minute behind my PB right now, but we're trying to pull it back here and there. Uh, but I did want to let folks know that if you uh, weren't aware about some of the stuff going on with the GDQ channel, Frost Fatales 2023 is coming up pretty soon. The prize submissions are open right now, and uh, they're going to be open until February 20th. So if you want to consider donating a prize to Frost Fatales 2023, then you can go to gamesonquick.com for more information or use exclamation point prizes in Twitch chat here to uh, get a link and get some more information on how to submit your prizes. Be sure to check that out. It's going to be a really fun event. Uh, and as always, if you want to skip the ads during the breaks, listen to all the fantastic video game music we got going on there and help support Hotfix and a GDQ, or a GDQ in general directly, uh, please consider subscribing. Your subs, Prime Gaming subs, Gift subs, Bits Cheered, all that kind of good stuff on the Twitch channel really does help us out. So uh, with that, yes, please do that and thank you very much. <laughs> um, I am pretty much good to go here, Keys, if you are. I think we're yep. both just in battles that we're just going to resume. So, Yep. <laughs> All right, then uh, to count us down, let's resume in three, two, one, go. What am I doing in this fight? <laughs> uh, oh. Bite. I'm leading Bite. I'm leading Bite because I used a lot of Surf. By use a lot of Surf, I mean oh, I got Surf geez, stolen from me. I'm getting, like, beat up here. What the heck? Uh, I'm going to hope that this thing just dies and that I don't need to res my party member. It should just die. It should just die. It should just die. Okay, it died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you don't res your party members in this game, it's like a Nuzlocke. They they are gone forever after a countdown. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, see, now you're speaking my language and I hate it. <laughs> yeah, and we definitely still need them, so... Uh, is it is it a dead run if you don't have them anymore? I think it would be, yeah, but it, it's pretty rare. Like you have thirty seconds to either finish the fight or go heal them, and it's rare that a fight lasts thirty seconds in this run. So it's not a big deal, like in the moment. It's more a big deal, uh, you know, throughout. Mm -hmm. All right, we are putting on our magic keyblade and. The, another Thundara. We're and now we're finally going to be Prankster's right Paradise. 
with Sora. I don't think I needed the heal, but you know, if I die, then I'm gonna look like a dum dum who should have healed. <laughs> so another forced fight. More balloons. What else did you expect at this point? I guess I could talk about how um, in the bottom right corner you might have seen the word haste pop up. Uh, that is one of the things that our uh, dream eaters, the spirits that are on our team, can do for us is they can cast certain spells or abilities, uh, and haste is one of them. Haste is pretty much what we want to see all of the time in the new game category. Uh, that was pretty good. Said my notes say I should, should have hit level 5 during it. I didn't notice it, but I might have. But we'll see. It's okay. We're going to fix our experience at some point in this world anyways. Yeah, Good whenever they cast flinch, haste, please. it, it helps us okay. out a lot. Flinch. Flinch. Don't do a move that kills me, because my health is bad. It flinched. Yes, I don't deserve this. Wow. <laughs> this guy. Again, you wouldn't normally use bite this much. It's just we got we got surf spites, and I I, I need a lot of my surf, so I'm I'm sucking up the super effective text. Oh, what? I couldn't touch that wall, so. All right, we hit level six there, so that's good. There's a lot of kind of particulars with sometimes I'm doing a dash out of a hitting the wall, sometimes I'm jumping, um, uh, and sometimes I'm just doing it poorly. Um, it has to do with like kind of the angle of the wall sometimes. Um, I need a couple of these bats too. There we go. Uh, or the just scenery in general. But yeah, we want to avoid what just happened to me there, where I'm just sitting at the load zone trying oh, to go through on. it, but waiting. Did you hit another spinner? Every single spinner <laughs> is looking the proper direction. Oh, I've been getting baited so bad today. Uh, oh my goodness. That's funny. I guess I headbutt you, question mark? Oh, headbutt didn't kill. All right, all cool. Probably should have served. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick up the, the super duper emergency ether. That seems fair. Uh, unfortunate. It was so close to being an amazing fight. It was still pretty good, though, I think. Uh, on my way back out of here, I'm going to kill the same enemies that I killed on the way in. We're just trying to hit level 10 by a specific point. Um... We're going to be near or at level 9 in a second, uh, like on our way back out of here. I have successfully dodged two out of... No, three. Three out of six. I have a 50% spinner rate right now. Oh, that's not good. That's horrendous. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know Pokemon that well, but even I know that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Well, since I'm picking up uh, an ether anyway, I might as well use up some... Headbutts. No, oh, stop hitting me. What the heck? Why did that, like, rise me up in the air there? It was so weird. Uh, I did this poorly. Should not have slammed the ground like I did. But that's fine. We recovered. And we hit level 9. No, I I hit X, which is attacking with flow motion in this run is just always a bait. I just needed like an inch further uh, distance. So I thought, oh, let me just attack to extend this. And it was it was the wrong move. It always is. Where, I was like, where are the enemies here? Oh, no, I got frozen. Oh, you're actually just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh. Bad attack again. So there are some particulars to using Balloon Ruff for combat. You uh, 
ideally kind of want your enemies to hit you um, in a weird way. But you want them to hit you specifically once um, once you have spawned the balloons but have not uh, yet like jump to attack them because the, the jumping and attacking part is all part of the same animation. Uh, and then it lets you potentially use more balloons like faster or another another balloon row faster. All right, our deck is taking its ultimate form. Um, I mean, not the actual ultimate form. We are going to switch it more, but it has six balloon rows is the joke I was trying to make. <laughs> oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm... I think I'm going to be one surf short, despite all of this, but I'm trying to think how to how to balance that out. Six, five. Uh, this was bad, but it's fine. Four, three, two. Do you want to know the name of this next boss, Keys? What, what's the name of the next boss? Chill Clobster. Ch can, can it's you... just a Pokemon game. <laughs> Can you guess what kind of animal it is? Is it a lobster? No, it's a crab. Why would you ever think it was a what lobster? The no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'd believe it. All right, you don't normally evolve into Feraligator this early. That's how many trainers we've hit. Oh, my God. Uh, me falling down here was not good. So this is where I want to be dealing a lot of damage to this boss. That was unfortunate. Uh, we do have Overcast, though, I just noticed. So... Overcast is a weather pattern that buffs our magic damage, and we pretty much want to see it, like, always. Um, like, whenever we can, other than the one time we need Bargain Flurry. And uh, it's just random, so there are there is a specific spot where I'm going to need to make sure I get it uh, near the end of the run. But here, it will just save us some time. Alright, this is this is an ether that you don't normally pick up, but we've had such a bad time. Alright, where am I? I'm trying to get to that ice block. Uh there it is. He's gonna hit me. I know he's gonna hit me. I, I know your game's game. Alrighty. Ah, I dodged him! Finally! Justice! And now, we are become whale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just ride on top of Monstro here. Sure, normal. Yeah. Naturally, as one does. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is also barrier. basically an auto-scroller. I just have to dodge attacks here. To, they, they'll just knock me back a tiny bit. All right, headbutt was nice and everything. 70 power move very early. Now we're going to get strength. 80 power move. Improvement. <laughs> no flinching, but that's okay. You flinch them by killing them. I split pretty late, and I still got a gold split and saved a bunch of time. <laughs> I, no, please, please stop getting gold. <laughs> but I've only done seven runs. Gotta get gold. Actually, really, I've only done five runs. Two of them were from like a, over a year ago and I didn't properly learn it as we found out. All right. Now we're finally going to finish the grid uh, or Tron world with Sora. We were right at the boss when we left last time, but uh, we wanted to just have a bunch of balloons equipped and uh, so we it makes more sense to wait until we have to do that menu for Prankster's Paradise and we do all that experience grinding anyways. So there's a, normally a rare candy that we pick up, and I guess I could have picked it up if I wanted to be extra strong and extra safe, but since we evolved so early, I didn't need it. <laughs> so we got to save time doing that, I guess. <laughs> Look at the positives, am I right? Yeah. Uh, that boss was a pretty good example of what I was talking about earlier, how 
you can either get hit at like the right time during a balloon reanimation or too early. Some of the time he was hitting me right after I spawned the balloons before Sora did the attack animation, so I could just start a new one right away. But other times, he was just hitting me before I could start them, which just puts the command on cooldown and doesn't actually use it. Alright, I opted to bite there, even though it was not very effective and the extra text was slow, because I knew it would die to bite. And just in case I hit another spinner where I need to use strength. Because I'm I'm preparing for spinner hits at this point in time. That's how this has been. Seems like you should instead just like not get hit by spinners. I'm trying! So there's patterns to the spinners. <laughs> so spinners in this game have uh, paired directions. Uh, up and left are paired and down and right are paired. So if you're trying to pass them from the left side, you want them to look either down or right. And every time I've had perfect pass opportunities, I, we just got hit. <laughs> I've, I've just come to accept it at this point in time. So this is another fight that I wanted to use spirit links on. Um, but unfortunately, one of my uh, Dream Eaters just does not have... What is this? Uh, one of my Dream Eaters... I'm in did Rock you, Tunnel, man. Did you forget uh, Flash? Yeah, apparently. One of the Dream Eaters just didn't have the um, the link gauge full, and that's just basically random. Just has to do with whether the uh, like whether they ended up dealing enough damage or something. I don't know how they build up link gauge, but they work autonomously during the um, during the fights. So now I need to make sure I hit. Uh, Level 11, there it is. Then we're going to do a menu here. Whoa, how did I end up on Drain Dive? That was weird. Uh, items. Oh, wait, no, I already have that keyblade on. All right, so, so in Gen 1 games, if you want to use an HM, you have to do it from the menu. Gen 2 and onward, you can pretty much just press A against what you want to use it on, like a cut tree or a boulder or whatever. But in that case, since I had to menu and heal anyway, that's like a tiny menuing optimization where like I just use strength from the menu anyway, because we're there. Okay, so this is a fight my PB died on, and uh, pretty decent odds I die again, because it's... Uh, Really difficult fight, and if you don't have overcast, you don't have extra damage for it. Yeah, see, any weather effects you need that will benefit you, you will not get, because I, I'm in the weather boy's house, not you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got the one on the boss earlier, but I would have preferred to have it here if I could only have it on one of the two. Uh, but basically, we have a little mini boss rush with some of the bosses we fought already. Two Hako monkeys, and... Uh, one of the lobsters. And if they get too aggressive, they can just decide to, like, really kill you. So I'm really hoping they stop doing that. All right, because I have an extra level, because I have perfect attack, and because I have a bitter berry, I don't see a world where I lose this fight, so I didn't save. But if I lose, I deserve every bad thing. <laughs> We're looking at like a less than 1% chance of dying here. I'm at pretty decent odds of dying here, I'll be honest. As I am in critical health. That's why I took the reality shift there. It's being nice. I'm going to do another one. Play it safe. Unfortunately, not landing it on the balloons like I was trying. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not the fastest fight, but I didn't die. So we are now ahead of my PB. <laughs> That was a low roll. That's that's terrifying. Don't do that. Thank you. I hate Gen 2 health bars, because sometimes when they have like one HP left, like it'll slow down for like an extra frame on that one HP, so you think you didn't win. <laughs> it's so nerve-wracking. Alright, I need to switch back to Riku now. I'm gonna get a drop bonus here, which is a uh, magic gain. Don't know what it does, haven't read it. But my <laughs> notes tell me to get it. So, <laughs> you know, sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it just increases his magic damage or something. 
Uh, so we need to leave from the save point here. But your movement's so much cooler than mine. <laughs> it is pretty cool. Uh, and then we go to the back streets. They're back. All, All right. right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to the Fountain Plaza. Oops. All right, so we just got fly, which is super nice because having the surf and bike back everywhere is horrible. Uh, didn't notice that little alcove. All right, so I'm pretty sure because of the way that the levels are balanced, we were intended to go this direction first, but now we're just completely, utterly overleveled. So we have a forced fight here, which kind of works out because we are pretty underleveled. Um, oh, well, and this will get us, give me some experience. There we go. I hit level 10, which is what I want to see. And now we have the part of the movement I always really like because it's moving through three rooms that exist in KH1, so I'm familiar with them. <laughs> <laughs> go to the first district, the second district, and the third district. We just jump over right, the so buildings. We bought a polka doll earlier. It's funny that Gen 1 and Gen 2 both use a polka doll for stuff. Gen 1, you use it to skip an entire segment and just use the polka doll and the Marowak ghost. Gen 2, we use it on the shiny Gyarados because you have to catch or kill to get out of this fight. You can't, you can't like run away successfully. So we're just going to throw a doll at it. And now so it's you gone. don't have to catch or kill. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go, poke it all. Yeah. It is funny that they, like, <laughs> it's just the same as the ghost marijuana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. We haven't done a dive in a while, so figured we might as well go ahead and do one of those. Yeah, you know, the um, funniest thing about using the polka doll is when you talk to Lance afterwards, he's like, I saw the way you fight. You're impressive. And I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> you run away. <laughs> you live to fight another day. It was impressive of you to throw that stuffed animal at that angry water yeah. snake. Ooh, I missed a bunch of enemies there. Not ideal. Uh... The world we're heading to is called Symphony of Sorcery, which is from uh, Fantasia. It's the Fantasia world, oh. which means that's lots of uh, public domain music. Oh. <laughs> but it's also really cool. It's a very cool world. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> that's where I'm at. Okay. We're at the rocket hideout. I'm at the most boring part of the run. If at any point in time people are tired of watching me, watch Hobbs instead. <laughs> the gimmick of this world is that we have, we have some reality shifts we have to do where we effectively do like a tiny little rhythm game um, with some symphonic music and uh, the weird thing is that it's actually faster to miss one of the prompts in the like r little rhythm mini game huh. because uh it's, it's very barely faster, but basically there will be four notes when you're done, uh, like a four-note jingle if you do everything right, and there will be a three-note jingle if you miss one prompt. <laughs> huh. Well, so gonna, time save where you can get it, I guess, right? One. Yeah, so I'm going to try to miss the last one every time. Uh, and that'll open our, like, paths. <sighs> Please. Uh, I do need some more chests, though, because we are coming up soon on getting our final Dream Eater for the run, which we're going to use a glitch to get. I'll talk more about that when we are really at it, but that uh, that chest is also just a useful spell for us, a useful command called Zero Graviza. Uh, I took a bad route through here, but I can improv it to make it work out. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, my, my current fight strategy is both mash A and press up and mash A. Ah, I see. Because we have, we have strength on slot one and uh, surf on slot four. And the other two moves are just kind of there for now. Mm. Uh, so now I have another, another chest I need to open here for an elixir. We're going to use one of these. And then this world, or this room has very weird movement. Because these reality shifts are supposed to kind of gate your movement, but uh, you can just climb walls infinitely. They have to put a lot of walls that you just randomly can't get flow motion on, and it's it sucks. So hopefully hmm. my movement isn't too bad here. I did do oh, some practice for this like area before my runs today, earlier today. So yeah, okay, cool. And now we're gonna get the Ryu Dragon recipe, which is the next uh, Dream Eater we're gonna get. Funny how many terms you're saying that are actually also just Pokemon terms. You, elixir, Dream Eater. Yep. <laughs> to be fair, Elixir's in a lot of JRPGs. Uh, yeah, yep, it sure is. <laughs> but Dream Eater's fair, I hadn't thought about that one. Next thing you know, you're going to tell me that you're going to use Hypnosis. Well, uh... Uh... uh <laughs> wait, no, okay, we don't use Sleep. We don't use Sleep. Okay. We, uh... <laughs> That would have been really funny. We, we used slow. I sold sleep earlier. Or maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Oh, I messed that up. I hit square and then circle, and I needed to hit circle and then square. Ah, the opposite, I see. Yeah. Your movement's so cool! <laughs> it is. It's a little janky at times. But it is pretty cool. Oh, I see. I see what happened there. All those goods and then one bad. Yeah. Yeah, we just skipped the last one. Uh, the, the gimmick that the gimmick of the hideout that I'm in right now is this used to be a ninja hideout apparently. So there's a lot of traps and stuff. So we we turned off one set of traps, and every other every other set of doors that we have to go through, we need passwords. So we got to fight trainers to get passwords. The downside is, unlike the remakes, where they tell you the password immediately upon defeating them, you have to talk to them again after the fight. And I'll, I'll never forget that I forgot to do that once, and I <laughs> lost a minute. <laughs> so I went all the way to the door, and I was like, I don't know the password. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I have to fight Chernabog. Bless you. Uh, which we do... <laughs> we do in a dive, which is unfortunate, because... It turns this into kind of an auto-scroller because all I have to do is mash X. However, the third phase of it, especially, but also just the whole thing, it's uh, really easy to just, like, run into to all the crap that Chernabog is throwing at you and uh, lose time and get knocked back. Or he can send a bunch of phantoms after you that are definitely not Dream Eaters <laughs> and, uh, or definitely not... Uh, Dementors is what I meant to say. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. They will drain your health, so you have to spin them off you so you can't be diving. I have one of the two passwords I need. I'm about to get the second one. As you can see, very, very complicated setup I just did there. I talked to the trainer, and now I'm pressing A for strength. Okay, I was at least able to bait those phantoms away. So I didn't have any of them latch onto me there. Mm, we're gonna have a few latch onto me here, but I'm gonna just try to tank it because I'm right near the end of the boss. There we go. It's pretty good. The world world overall went pretty well. Keys, I've gotten a lot of golds this round. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's fine. I so here here's the way I look at it. Right, the the the, the first week of this it was it was a very close race between mm -hmm. between my game and yours. Last week I I threw for content very very much so. <laughs> yes, 
So I, oh, I, real quick, sorry, I do have to interrupt because uh, we're going to do a glitch. Oh boy. All right, I did the glitch. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we hover Ryu Dragon, a, a Dream Eater for which we do not have the ingredients to, to actually make. Then when you hit L1 and the menu will switch to Meow Wow, but will not... Uh, oh, what am I naming this thing? Uh, uh, T-F-S-C. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of something clever. Um, yeah, so we, we use the Meow Wow res recipe for a Ryu Dragon, which is extremely helpful for us. Um, and then we're going to use the one water, or water, water barrel we got from a dive in order to level up enough on Ryu Dragon just so we can get one ability from it, and that ability is Super Glide. Um, oh, and Super well. Glide is good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, I didn't do the last part of that menu, but I'll fix it. It's fine. Uh, oops, I want this. And then this goes to Counterpoint. I'm going to have to go into the Spirits one more time just to change the party. There we go. But yeah, that is all we use Ryu Dragon for. Uh, this is where I'm going next, right? Yes. But yeah, you were saying last time throwing for content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I'm just, I'm expecting, I'm expecting you to win this one. I'm expecting <laughs> this one. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. There's still plenty of time, and there are legitimately. <laughs> some... I hate spinners. <laughs> <laughs> how keys? How? I did. <laughs> This uh, one's the worst, because you don't even get anything beneficial out of it. You just bite a bunch of rats. <laughs> I'm just Florida. I'm just I'm just an alligator eating rodents. This is horrible. It, three oh, of boy. them, too! Three of them! Well, okay, there's a bat, but still... Alright, so this boss, uh, the front of it, we're gonna two-cycle here, because you have to. But if, ideally, the back of it, I can two-cycle if I get really lucky slash do really well. Um, I really want to get a three cycle at, uh, at most because that's what you need for an A rank. Granted, the A ranks don't really matter for Riku anymore because I already messed up one of his dives. Soros are still alive, if I remember correctly. Um, but a, a two cycle just saves you a lot of time, so it'd be nice for that reason. That spinner I just hit, Hobbs. Yeah. His... his his losing dialogue was, I knew I'd lose. Then why'd you fight me? What a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> uh, okay, this happens sometimes where it will just switch targets for no reason. Oh, and it's so frustrating when it happens. I, I didn't touch the analog stick at all and it just switched targets on me. So we probably won't T-cycle now. Good, I need something. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like 30 seconds or so for me to have to three cycle but oh well oh boy I don't even think is there even a level yeah. threshold I get for beating that trainer I don't think so yep I I'm going to three cycle it best here, but that's okay. It should be a three cycle. I don't, I think it's pretty unlikely we'll get four cycles at this point. So that's at least nice. Oops. All right. I'm almost done with this slog of a part. There we go. I just have to surf three electrodes. There is a chance for one of these electrodes to be shiny. I've, I've never had it happen to me, but it, it's possible. <laughs> that would be funny. Because that's, that's just what I need right now, is an extra two and a half second time <laughs> loss. <laughs> oh, so the super glide we got, by the way, from Ryu Dragon, unfortunately only for Sora. Yeah. I don't know why Riku doesn't get the super glide, but he doesn't. Because oh, Riku looks so cool already. You're right, yeah. 
They needed to give Sora something. so nice. <laughs> so we're killing a few enemies here. Uh, just a wave. Oops. Drop down. Yeah, we're just killing a wave of enemies there uh, for a little bit of extra experience. We want to hit level 15 before the final boss of this world. Oh, we're gonna oh 15. Thing right Those are rookie numbers. Yeah. There we go. I'm level 35. <laughs> yeah, this is like one of the lowest levels we finish a Kingdom Hearts game at that isn't a level one run, you know? Mm -hmm. It's weird. All right, last chance for a shiny electrode. If it happens, I win automatically. Yes, of course. Oh my god, it's not shiny. Who could have guessed <laughs> this would happen? <laughs> Who could have foreseen this outcome? Yeah. So I'm fighting the Beagle Boys from, I the guess, what? the Three Musketeers. I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to use Zero Graviza to pull a whole bunch of enemies together and place a bunch of balloons on the ground for them to fall into. Naturally. And hopefully hit the Beagle Boy with everything. And he ran away. Because he's a coward. <laughs> uh, it's a bummer, too, because, yeah, we really wanted to hit him with all that. Okay, he did cancel my Zero Graviza there, which is actually good, because... There we go. Because I did not want to uh, use a second one. We were standing in that, like, pink goo, so our drop meter went way up. So we're going to drop to uh, Sora significantly sooner. Where the heck am I? There we go. Uh... But that should be fine because we're going to leave after this world. I'm saving right now because there is a spinner here on an ice puzzle. I hit him immediately. I didn't, have to, I didn't even get a chance to explain. So fighting him is terrible. He's very slow. He wastes your power points. He, he's just awful. Okay. Second try pass. I'll take it. It is faster to save and oh. reset, I think, three or four times than it is to fight him. He's awful. He's horrible. So this fight has gone awful because uh, I'm pretty sure it's because, yeah, my party members keep putting it to sleep. So they actually are using hypnosis and it's terrible. <laughs> Just use Dream Eater. What are you doing? Uh, I, I'm actually kind of concerned about my drop gauge now. I hope it's fine. Yeah, that, that was terrible for those two fights, unfortunately. <coughs> but maybe we can get lucky and get a uh, a lucky... Where the heck are you? Are you back here? Yeah, you're back here. Of course you are. Jerk. All right. So that's price down. I now have six badges. Oh, okay. Well, I got a lucky DM skip, so <laughs> it made well, up for the terrible fights before. Well, fine. Isn't that great for you? <laughs> it kind of is. I uh, didn't check. Maybe I had overcast. Like, maybe uh, yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe I was dealing more magic damage. For the record, world record doesn't even get that DM skip. <laughs> wow. But like I said, it's basically just luck. I didn't have overcast. Wow. So that was just... Yeah, boss just sat there. I'm going to have to ask my weatherman the validity of your statement every time you say that. What, if overcast increases magic damage? Yeah, I think if, he would, if, I think if agree. overcast actually increases the power of magic. That, that sounds fake. I, I'm pretty sure he'd agree with me. Uh, oops, I need to put on high probably jump and fake. I, I was told probably, probably fake. fake. What? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Come on, T-Pat. <laughs> you could have agreed with me on this one for the comedy. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to the same world we were just in with Riku as Sora, which means we got to do the dive again. Uh, we also equipped a better Keyblade for Sora. 
and just kind of put on more balloons and stuff. I love this comic book draw. Yeah. Yeah, it's because I guess the Three Musketeers was like a comic or something? I know nothing about the Three Musketeers other than Same. there are three of them. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to hit that. That was silly, but I just dashed at the wrong time. I scrolled way past my escape ropes. I, I didn't... I forgot how to spell escape. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this is an A rank. If this is an A rank, there should only be two more left with Sora after this. Good. We might actually get Dive Wing for Sora. That would be incredible. Just because I've never done it before. So here's that uh, Comet link again. Because we just did a, a menu, our commands are on cooldown for a second there, so we actually used our Keyblade for once. Huh. But now we're done. We're not doing that anymore. But now we are going to pop the elixir we picked up before because in this game that will refill the link gauges for our party members. And we're going to use Comet again soon, so. Oh, keys. Um, yes. I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to fight a dinosaur. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, okay. Wait, what is <laughs> You're fighting a dinosaur in a wrestling ring. No, I'm on a carriage. Oh, that's a wrestling ring. <laughs> From the top rope, the balloons. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. We fought the dinosaur. Uh, I'm going to change my commands around again. We're going to switch our balloon runs to mostly balloons, actually because it's going to help us for the next fight. Uh, well, the next two fights, mostly the fight for the boss of this world. But first, Thundaras. All right, everyone. We had instant text there for a grand total of like six seconds. And that's the only instant text you're gonna see in this run. I didn't know there was instant text in Yeah, if you if you one. rare candy, into a level up move, you have instant text for those huh. text boxes. It's I, I don't know. I don't actually know why it's like that. It just is. Yeah. Uh, I have super glide now, which means all of our kind of really neat movement stuff is uh, turned into hold circle and go <laughs> really fast and go up slopes and stuff. Uh, but when we're Riku, we're still gonna have to deal with flow motion. Oh, Sora, we get to do this now. It's great. All right, we're going to pick up Return. I don't know the efficacy of this in Lance. Like, c compared to, like, a full run of this. Return in a full run of this is, is really great. But I don't I don't want to... I don't want to deviate. I don't want to come up with some on-the-fly strategy and then be horribly, horribly wrong. So I'm hoping the enemies will just all come after me, but they don't seem to want to do that, so we're going to use another Zero Graviza. There we go. I also literally just did the full game shop. As I said, I don't want to worry about stuff, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I don't even need the guard spec. I just bought that out of habit. <laughs> I don't think I needed any of the X speeds either. Oh, well. <laughs> Better to have them than not. Yeah, I agree. Look how fast the super glide is, though. It's great. It's so good. Yeah. You're it. like a plane. And I got hasted, which doesn't increase my movement speed, but it kind of makes it feel like it does. Oops. <laughs> it feels faster. <laughs> so I need to kill this dinosaur without getting canceled, but the other. Ugh. Okay. 
then we go up this way. Ah, it's even faster when you're on the ground. Like, I, well, it's more obvious how fast it is. It's more obvious, yeah. Yeah. And then I need to get lost in this dungeon, because I always do. Ha! Uh, oh, yep, yep, see, it's right here, not left. Okay. And then, uh, you want to see the fastest fight in the run? Sure. Fight's done. <laughs> what, what, what happened? Did we you used throw, Comet did you again. Did you a cliff? Oh, that was a mountain. No, <laughs> yeah, Comet. Yeah. It, it was a Comet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which I should have I should have uh, watched the animation for on one of these, because it is pretty good. You literally just stand on a Comet <laughs> as it descends down <laughs> and destroys everything. That's absurd. Um, yeah, that was why we used the elixir earlier. Um, oh, I need to put on the command for slow. <laughs> so good. I'm here. The, the last slog of the game. All right, and then I should uh, hit level 13 from defeating the dinosaur out here. Unfortunately, because I did that command menu later than I was supposed to. We had to wait on commands to refresh there. Otherwise, it should have been a lot faster. I also didn't hit level 14. Or level 13, rather. So, we're just gonna have to improvise and kill some stuff here. There it is. That's weird. I don't know why I was that low on experience, but it's all good. <laughs> it's like the whole the whole dungeon. Oh, they all got slept. Oh no, one of them didn't make it into the Zero Gravisa. Okay, it got caught eventually. So I'm gonna use slow just to get the enemies to kind of not move around as much. Uh that's unfortunate. Dude, it's re they're really liking to cast sleep today. It's weird. Uh, this is a two-phase fight. First we fight the Beagle Boys, and then we fight Pete. There is a DM skip I can try to do for Pete. Uh, unfortunately, this part of the fight is going like really poorly. I, just, I love the music. It's so part. good. It's it's such a good little riff. Are you dead? You are not dead somehow. All right. Oops. I really needed that slow, so I did not want to use it that early. That's not good. I'm going to be short of strength now because it didn't take all of my inputs there. Now I gotta think how to compensate that. Alright, so I'm basically just trying to position myself uh, in between where Pete wants to go uh, to DM. I haven't said what DMs are in this entire run, I don't think, but basically desperation moves, big attacks that bosses want to do Dungeon in order masters. to... Uh, yeah, in order to waste my time. Uh, uh, no, he's going to get it. Yeah, dang. Okay, so this is the move I was trying to skip. I can't really do anything to him during this move. So I was trying to skip that. My PB did, so we'll lose some time there to that, but oh well. Okay, buddy. Do you want to just not walk in any of these balloons? Don't they <laughs> look like they'd be so fun? What is he doing? All right. Other than now what you don't dead. want him to do. <laughs> so that was unfortunate. Yeah, we lost a good chunk of time to that. Oh, he has a peg leg. That's okay, we are getting near the end game now. 
How many more gyms do you have after the rocket stuff? Uh, after this, it's one gym and then the Elite Four. Okay. Yeah, I've got one more world before the world that never was, which uh, is not, like, terribly short, but, you know. That is my, you know, equivalent to your Elite Four. I see. So this has a chance to be close yet. Yes, it does. Ooh, I got the range on the Porygon. That doesn't happen too often. Very good. I'm still, like, mapping out how I compensate using one strength, because you actually need all of them. I will have spare bites, so I can waste the turn bite something, I guess. I just gotta figure out what I want to oh. use bite on. What will cause me the least strife if I bite it? That's <laughs> that's where I stand right now. Okay. I'm really hoping to get an A rank on this. I would love to get dive wing with Sora. Like I said, has not happened before for me. I don't know if that will be. It seemed to take a while to get the goal. Yeah, we got a B. Dang. I don't know what I did differently, but... Oh, I accidentally decided to watch a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then we have to do commands. Flinch, please. Don't poison me, please. I You did the complete opposite of every sentence. <laughs> you didn't flinch. You poisoned me. That's really rude. All righty. Now we have Sora's version to be in Fantasia World, and unfortunately I don't have, uh, what's it called, uh, Overcast, which would be extremely nice here because the boss of this world is a big pain and really easy to die to. Uh, so having more damage so that it, you know, isn't on screen as long would mm -hmm. be really nice. Uh, unfortunately we don't have that. Here now. Wait, what? Where is it? I am surfing clouds. I forgot where my full heels were. <laughs> Good. All right, so the first half of the radio tower is done. Now I have to go to the underground, which I already beat the option, uh, the required trainers down there, so we actually get a little bit of a head start. Nice. It'll make up for the extra turn I'm going to have to spend biting something. <laughs> All right. Somehow missed the door entirely. I was too busy watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Thanks. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Oh, I got, I got, I got zapped by lightning. That was actually pretty annoying. I just wanted to compensate for you not running into the door. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, thanks. Good friend. Mm. Yeah, I got you. No! Oh. Well, good thing I still have this bitter berry. I got confused, Raid. Okay. Unfortunately, we just can't skip all these animations. I gotta see the world get all pretty. It looks like a Spyro level right now. Yeah, it really does. And now you it doesn't. What? <laughs> you know what it also reminds me of is the uh, that Looney Tunes uh, episode where, like, Bugs Bunny is the Valkyrie or whatever. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 
Yeah, which also uses, I'm pretty sure, a lot of public domain like mm-hmm. symphony music. So, you know, fair. <laughs> the two feel similar. See, before you even finish that sentence, that's the episode that's popping in my head. Yep. <laughs> I was like, I'm hoping it's what he says. I'm hoping it's what he said. He said it. Yes. <laughs> All right, so now I am going to head into the boss fight uh, with Spellican. Not looking forward to this without Overcast, but it is what it is. It's just really easy to die in this fight. Or at least have it take a really long time. And you have to do this little grind rail section first. And I'm pretty sure you have to repeat it too if you die, so... Oh, God, Rival talks for so long. You lost. Get over it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care about your dreams. But I'm dropping, and they got distance <laughs> to them or something. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Good attempt. Good attempt. I approve. Stop putting things in my path when it's too late for me to jump. Okay. He's being really rude. Yeah, that, that part was slow, but it was mostly my fault. It was all my fault. Uh, this part will be slow because it'll be the boss's fault. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just try to basically keep this boss stunned as much as we can. Unfortunately, being right up against a rock like this is not good because a lot of my balloons are not going to land. So we're going to throw them away. All right. Ah, uh, nice. I went for the stun and uh, I went for the stun and the boss didn't uh, let me, basically. Unfortunately, it can just run away like this, which sucks. Wow, yeah, I'm probably going to die. I can't. What is happening? I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much dead. Can I? Okay, I can at least do that. I also really ideally need my uh, party members to use haste on me. They finally did. They weren't doing it before. No, I didn't mean to use both those back to back. That sucks. That's on me. Yes, this boss can just teleport. It's one of the ways it can waste a lot of time. This boss is so rude. Yeah, and where is he? Oh, he, he spawned all the small things, too. This is how you really die. They just cast thunder on you, and it sucks. It's fine. It's only 70% accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the boss? There it is. This is rough. I'm shocked I'm still alive, though, to be fair, so that's at least nice. Alright, still have a lot to do in this rocket takeover. It's it's How a long your... segment. How did that not land? Oh my god, I didn't die. Okay, I lost over a minute. I'm not on PB pace. Well, I'm on PB pace, but I'm I'm five seconds behind now. <laughs> But I didn't die. All right, you. I'm going to double bite you. Wait. No! It used takedown, so I was like, oh, maybe it just kills itself anyway? No, it lived on one. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, there you go. Now, now my strengths are where they're supposed to be. I just lost the turn in the process. No big deal. Alrighty, I'm heading to my final world, but the final world is kind of split up into... Four, <laughs> weirdly. Uh, I have to dive for each character, and I'm going to have to drop back and forth between them, and I'm going to have to deal with weather patterns, uh, potentially. That blasted weather. Yeah. I also have to deal with this annoying boss I talked about before. Uh, where's the last one? Yes, okay, good. At least I got all them. Yeah, so right now for me, okay. this entire segment is pretty much just make sure that your power points are managed properly. Which is why it sucked that I accidentally used that one strength. 
Yeah, I'm Please. just getting unlucky here. My attacks are not landing, so we this really, is going to be a terrible fight. We really don't have that much wiggle room. That's the problem. Like, I have... Assuming... Oops. Assuming everything is done correctly, Where's the last one. Oh. I will have four returns, which will go over bite. Bite's the only thing I have spares of right now, but we're gonna teach over bite soon. So at the end of this, I'll have zero strength, four returns, one ice punch, and zero surf. That's that's how tight the PowerPoint routing is right now. Sora, just hit the boss, please. <laughs> Come on, I need I need you to hit this last one, buddy. Thank you. Okay, at least it was a two cycle. We would have saved a lot of time from that being a one cycle, but it is what it is. We're still in the underground. There are still three fights left before we can go back into the radio tower for four more fights. This part's long. <laughs> uh, so I'm forcibly dropping to Riku here. The game just makes you. And now, ideally, what I want to see is a drop meter of 1.3 in the bottom right corner after this dive. That'll mean I'm, I have the right weather pattern. And if I don't see that, then I have to... Uh, I'm going to do some a part of the world, but then I'll have to leave. Death Star? Yeah, I was going to say obligatory uh, Death Star time. <laughs> What's it doing there? I don't know. It's been in every Kingdom Hearts game. Might as well be in this one, too. It, it wasn't Disney yet. I know. My point stands. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'm officially out of strength. Until... After Claire. Didn't want to hit that. Probably should have just skipped that whole little tunnel, but that's fine. So if I got an A rank here, I will have missed A rank on exactly one for uh, one dive for each character, which is really annoying because it meant I was so close. <laughs> uh, okay, I do not have overcast, so we are going to have to deal with uh, the annoying weather stuff. Uh, we first want to buy two Kiragas, though. Useless crit. Extra text. Boo. <laughs> For the record keys, I'd say I'm about 20-ish minutes from the end. Uh, I would say I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'd say 30. It's probably a good guess. Well, I also could die uh, and or have to, like, wait on weather stuff a lot, so... That could affect things still. No, no! How did I double input their help? Oh, the extra time. The humanity. We're not playing Dark Souls. You're right. <laughs> that was that was like a year or two ago, whenever the heck we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. We have Return Tot now. It is officially our strongest move because we have a very nice. happy crocodile. Alligator... <laughs> He turns from a crocodile to an alligator. I know, I don't he understand. does. I had to think about that <coughs> it when doesn't I was make sense. the tweet for today. <laughs> it does look like we are ready for our break whenever, and I'm just kind of walking right now. So um, I have to do a pretty big menu here, but then I can. Actually, okay. if you're ready right now. You ready? I'm ready right now. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, pause. Good timing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, folks. Yeah, because I was like, I could pause during this animation. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We'll be back in a few minutes. We're just going to play some ads. Again, just a friendly reminder, the ads do help fund Hotfix content and help GDQ directly. If you don't want to sit through the ads, you can always subscribe to the channel and instead listen to some awesome music. But on that note, be sure to get up, stretch your legs, get some water, et cetera, et cetera. Take care of a quick chore, maybe get a quick snack. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody, from the break. Once again, we appreciate you sticking through it. We're just going to remind you of a couple quick things, and we're going to get right back into it. Hobbs is about 20-ish minutes away, and I am... I don't actually know. Like, yeah, 20, like 20 to 30, something like that. 20 like twenty to 25, depending on, on uh, weather and uh, whether I die as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Whether you die? <laughs> yep, whether I die or whether <laughs> I'm not. Okay. All right, well, you know, th that's not going to be a way to convince our YouTube watchers to watch us live. But in case that does <laughs> anyway, just want to remind everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, consider swinging by twitch.tv slash games and quick. We have live content every weekday, 7 p.m. Eastern and weekend 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, lots of Hotfix content for uh, lots of different things. Indie games, co-op games, uh, cute games. Just There's there's so much content. Uh, consume. Consume the content, I say. Um, and also just want to remind everyone that this is not going to be the end of the day. Once Hobbs and I are done, we're going to be throwing it over to our good pal Church and Sarge. Um, he's going to be hosting How to Train a Speedrunner, and you're going to learn how to play Metroid Dread, one of the most fantastic Ooh. games we've ever done for TFS. I love yeah. Metroid Dread. It's, it's that game's so good. Game. But oh, yeah, so I'm I'm ready to unpause and get going when you are. I'm good to go as well. So uh, I'll go ahead and count us down. All right. Uh, three, two, one, resume. Ah, ah, I, I forgot. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's actual crystal, not speed choice crystal. There's so much lag when you leave a menu. <laughs> <laughs> I was holding down and I didn't move down at all. That's funny. All right, so I'm gonna get double flight out of this chest. I think it's the last chest we open, if I remember correctly. And then I am going to uh, switch to the elite uh, command menu, which is six balloonras and two cures. <laughs> well then. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put on double flight, which is just double jump. Um, it's barely helpful, but it is helpful. Uh, and I already have the right keyblade on. And now I need to drop to, um, to Sora because I don't have overcast. So, for, for the casual fans, every single Kingdom Hearts game is, is technically canon, right? Oh, yeah. It's annoying. <laughs> so, what, what the heck does this have to do with anything? That's a good question. Okay, I figured. <laughs> no, uh, the goal battle I could not one. tell you. I know that time travel's involved. Oh, um, sure. As it is. Always. Uh, do I need to keep dropping now? I actually don't remember. I don't remember exactly what I do here. I th think I need to keep dropping now. Yeah, Golbat, unfortunately, is a very difficult range to hit. Uh, somehow, ranges haven't come up in my run yet. Uh, we mention it every time there's a Pokemon game, but... Uh, there's there's calculations and math and stuff. It's not just consistent damage. And uh, yeah, we we very much missed that range. I'm gonna drop in the next room because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do this now. I, was, I think I was supposed to do it when I went to that menu. I I've been getting too good of weather luck recently, so I haven't had to do this <laughs> <laughs> since learning this run. Okay, yeah, I was supposed to do it. All right. So basically, I need to just keep switching characters now until I see um, that Riku has the overcast in the third slot, uh, which he does now. So I didn't have to go too bad, like too long. That's good. I'm on the last fight of the rocket sequence, and then we can finally make our way to the last gym. Oh, pfft. Why did it turn me around? That was weird. Or did it? Yeah, I think it did. What? I don't know why it you turned should, me around. You should go back and forth a few times to make sure. <laughs> so at least I didn't have to do that too long. But if you're lucky enough, you either have overcast already and you can just continue on with Riku, or you only have to drop once. 
Uh, both of which are fine. Because you are going to have to drop eventually anyways. Alright, so we have been out of strength for a while, and now we're going to be out of surf, and we're not getting any of that back for the next, like, 15, 20 minutes. 15, <laughs> 10? Wow. I don't know. I have to do a few of these reality shifts to uh, mess up some buildings. As one does. As one does. an anime character in a JRPG. <laughs> With a sword that's 50 times your size. <laughs> yeah. You know, if anime characters were real, I would not ever want to pick an actual physical fight with them because if they can lift those as effortlessly as they do, <laughs> they could probably bench press me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the problem you would have to deal with is not the weapon, but them <laughs> being able to bench press you. <laughs> I, I'm just saying that they got a lot of strength. <laughs> Oh, uh, this guy. All right. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> oh, I just realized I get a mini time save because I'm not going to Kanto. I don't need to get the radio card, so I don't have to do the quiz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. That's going to be the difference maker. Just so you watch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I am into Sora's final boss. Yeah. Um, we want to hope our party members don't die here, but they might. Yeah. So, as, uh, as you might guess, we have a tactic of dealing with this boss. Stun and balloon? It's, uh, keep, keep using balloons. Wow, <laughs> I would have never guessed. Yeah, hope he gets stunned enough on it on his own. <laughs> Uh, ideally, you would have overcast for both Sora and Riku. Because then I would be dealing a lot more damage. And you actually can get a DM skip on this fight, if I remember correctly. If you're lucky enough. Um, but I don't think we're going to have enough damage for that without overcast. And we're missing Dive Wing, which is a Keyblade that would have helped us as well. I'm going to heal, just be safe. He is being pretty nice right now. He's not interrupting my balloons too often. But here we go. Now he's DMing. Yeah, this will generally happen once he's about half health. Um, now what they want you to do is to try to, you know, dodge these buildings and stuff. And uh, to eventually do a reality shift. To avoid getting hit by another building. But we're actually just going to tank it in the face. Because it's faster. <laughs> so right here. Uh, rather than doing what the game wants us to do. We're just going to get hit in the face of the building. <laughs> Bonk. Because <laughs> it's way faster that way. I think it like does. I don't remember if it changes phases or what. I haven't done it in a very long time. So. Uh, we're going to be a little greedy and not heal yet. We ideally want to see our party members either stunning uh, Xemnas or casting haste on us. Getting pretty low on him. Help, help. Uh, oh, man, all the okay. bonks. That was a little greedy. Maybe should have cured, but we're through Sora's section. So now for the rest of the run, we're going to be playing as Riku. I'm in Claire's gym, and the strat right now is mash A and use return. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good strat. <laughs> yeah. Return is my balloons right now. <laughs> so 
so I need to just climb this room. God, that would have been so nice. And then we go through here, do a slam onto the ground. We can break these open by slamming using, uh, what? Okay, well, normally, slamming onto the ground using a Balloonra <laughs> and uh, two attacks. I don't know why that one took a little bit more. We have to do a few more of these things. There we go. <sighs> All right. I'm just glad I have overcast for the end and it didn't take like forever to make it happen. Yeah, I don't need to heal here, Oops. but so you I, on the this. off chance if something goes horribly awry, I'm just going to heal. And since I have to use strength anyway, I don't feel as bad about that menu. A few rails sections here. And then hopefully I make it all the way to that wall. Good. Ah, didn't quite hit that one. That's fine. Trying to optimize the flow motion movement is actually like pretty difficult. <laughs> it looks fun though. Yeah, it is pretty fun. Now we're gonna go straight up a building. Wait, I'm supposed to just go to this one. There we go. These pipes can be pretty janky, and it's going to actually not turn the camera for a bit here, which is really annoying. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm trying to just, like, move all the way over to this railing without getting being able to turn the camera, which I was able to do, so that's pretty cool. And into our next boss fight... I'm one boss. fight away from Claire, Oops. but that doesn't mean I get the badge right away. I have to do extra stuff because she's actually a crybaby. Oh, yeah, that's right. So the name of this boss, if I remember correctly, is Anti-Black Coat. Which is like, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Sure. Good name. Oh, okay, so I could die from this. All right, so the boss has a move that if you don't dodge it, uh, will just take you down to one HP. Uh, I'm generally spamming balloons, so I can't see it coming. <laughs> uh, so I don't dodge it, and I just tank it and like pray that he doesn't use another attack that I fall into from it because I can't cure right away. Um, and thankfully, I didn't die. So you can see this boss is going like these bosses are going to go significantly faster than Sora's each. They do have a little less health, but also, Overcast just increases our damage so much here. It's really helpful. Uh, we have to fight Ansem twice now. Claire is a really easy fight. I just Ice Punch all of her dragons except Kingdra. I'll just return times two Kingdra. No need to set up. No need to worry about anything. I did heal because on the off chance I get crit by Hyper Beam, I think I would have died at the health I was at, but now we're fine. Wow, this, he is being extremely nice. What the heck? He, like, did nothing there. That was awesome. No! <laughs> Cease! That's not how it's supposed to be! <laughs> well, the next phase of this fight has a move that if I'm not able to deal enough damage quickly enough, I'll get pushed really far back and waste a bunch of time. Hopefully good. I'm able Keep to that. avoid that move. No, 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 no. That's a good move. But we'll see. Ooh, low roll. You hyper potion from that? That was like 51%. What? 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 
What? I've He's never seen move. that. I <laughs> think... that's Obligatory, cool. that's never happened before. <laughs> what? Right. I should be able to avoid getting knocked back here. He was about to do the move there, but... I got enough damage to be able to use a reality shift, and I should be able to kill him from here. This one should kill. Good. All right, so, Claire's down. I now have to take her test, because the gym wasn't test enough. So if I don't die on these next two fights, I'll PB. <laughs> Slow I'm down! I'm currently 21 seconds behind. <laughs> I can't keep up with you if you PB. I'm sorry. Stop. <laughs> stop. I'm, I'm excited for you, but also stop. <laughs> You know how, like, every single Pokemon vs. Kingdom Hearts in the past has mostly been my wins? <laughs> They're balancing <laughs> yeah. out now. Yeah, it's finally happening. <laughs> uh, the, uh... <laughs> the, the, our appearance on Think Fast was the, the tipping point where I won the game, but you won overall because of the trivia. Yeah, There's yeah, no, it's, <laughs> the, the time has come. Yeah. I humbly I, accept this. So we have a two-phase fight here with young Master Xehanort. Uh, we, in the first phase, just want to keep hoping he gets stunned by balloons. In the second phase, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to jump and then use balloons. Whoa! I know, right? Incredible. It's unbelievable. Okay, he should, yeah, die from that. So he stops time, becomes a clock or something, I don't know. And then uh, we're just going to reality oh. shift this thing. And in my PB, I messed this up, which was really silly. And you have to redo a shorter version of the first phase if you mess it up. But it is pretty easy to die in this part or to at least get like constantly stun locked. So uh, I'm going to hope that I don't get too badly stun locked. That's why we do a bunch of uh, double jumping before we do the balloons, because otherwise they'll just beat you up with melee attacks like this. Yeah, so now I have to cure, because I can't risk it. Alright, Claire finally gave me her badge. Not her TM nice. yet. We get to deal with that cutscene in a sec, but... He should have died from that. Okay. I am now ahead of PB. No! I have one fight to go. No! I, <laughs> I have so many more! But you just have four! Five. You're five. Six, right? seven, Six, seven, seven fights. Seven. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is this is not a good comparison. <laughs> we thought it would be, for the record. And then folks. you started gaming. Oh, I did forget I have this dive. I forgot I had this. Okay, so this will take some time. Oh boy, I get to do one fight in the meantime. <laughs> Yeah, when we were lining these up, folks, my PB at the time was three and a half hours. So we were like, "Oh, uh, if I, you know, get a little better, I'll be at like three hours. That'll be, that'll be perfect." We didn't realize that apparently when I got that PB, I didn't really learn very much. <laughs> <laughs> and friendly reminder, we were like, "Oh yes, full game crystal would be a good comparison. <laughs> yeah. Full game." <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I'm starting my journey to the end. Okay, I've tagged 30 Soras because <sighs> Kingdom Hearts. And uh, <laughs> I am now heading towards my final boss. It is very easy to die to this boss. Maybe not very easy, but it's, it's, it's easy. Uh, unfortunately, I did. I am going to lose time here because um, there's not anything I can do about this move. I wasn't on Balloonra when the fight started, so I wasn't able to stun the boss at the beginning. Okay. 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 I'm gonna... We're not gonna talk about what happened there. A, a lot of that movement was on purpose, and then it was very much not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should definitely cure. I was about to <laughs> skip curing, and that was gonna be real bad.
So we pretty much want to see the room go white like that as little as possible. Um, he has some moves there that can just really waste a lot of time or be pretty dangerous. Like this one. Like that one is more dangerous than potentially time waste because we can hit him out of it. But Yeah, see now I got to dodge and heal because I'm worried. Uh, so... Oh, come I dodged, on. I dodged the last spinner that I have to deal with. Hooray. <laughs> okay, we're at the end. Uh, get ready on time. Oh my god, I'm not even in victory road yet. <laughs> so I have to do this little, like, kind of mini game thing. All right, get ready. And time. <laughs> <laughs> so That's PB'd a... by a little under two minutes. <laughs> it's pretty <Congrats>. cool. <laughs> Glad you could PB during this race. <laughs> I would have, I would have, uh, like pet the dream eaters at the end or something, but I, uh, it was too late. By the time <laughs> once, once I beat the other boss, I couldn't open the menu anymore. <laughs> You know, this might have been a little closer if I didn't hit half the spinners. <laughs> I was going to say, some of it may, might be on that a little bit. <laughs> this is still really fun, though. It's fine. I, I'm on, I have six fights left, and I'm yeah. on Rival 5 right now. Oh, yeah, so we're, I forgot the Rival fights you Yeah, did. yeah. I didn't even get to make it into the, I wasn't even in Victory Road when you finished. <laughs> but I'm like, I got like... 10 to 12 minutes left, so not, yeah, not, not too, too much. Bad. Not too much. Not too bad at all. Easily could have seen this flipping the other way, too, if I just, like, took a couple more deaths in places. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of uh, that's kind of the blessing and the curse of uh, racing two different RPGs. Is yeah. You, you just, you never know. Like, this could have been closer if I, if I didn't hit every optional in the game. It could have been closer if you had a couple of unlucky fights that led to some deaths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if uh, if you're like trying to get into speedrunning and, and your friends are interested in it and stuff, and you happen to enjoy shorter platformers <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or like action games or even just shorter RPGs, you're probably going to have an easier time finding, like lining up estimates. For us, it's been a bit difficult because a lot of these, you know, Pokemon and Kingdom Hearts runs are like two to three or more hours. Uh, so it's been a bit difficult to try to nail them down as, as exactly as possible, but it's mm -hmm. still been really fun. It's been nice revisiting a bunch of games, too. Mm -hmm. I think and this is this is the only exception so far of, of me learning a completely different route. Yeah. <clears throat> like, Red was new, Sapphire is new. This, this is not, but that's just on, <laughs> on account of it being... Not manipped. But so you learned uh, you learned beat Lance, totally. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> I learned that I counted correctly and I only needed seven super repels. That's that's the difference. <laughs> okay, so me going on the left side instead of the right side here is literally the most useless optimization. But the rival gets off the screen faster, and since you're on a bike, you move faster than him. Okay, it's slower when I bonk like that. Very good. <laughs> I saw that coming from a mile away. That's okay, I, I don't think I need these, but we're going to buy them anyway, because I can afford them. And the race is done anyway, so I'm just, I'm here to finish. Yeah, you got this. I don't actually know when, when time is for Beat Lance. Hold on, I got you. I, I got you. Yeah, yeah, you have the chance. I'll go figure it out. Come on. Show rules. I believe... Uh, the white, white screen before the Hall of Fame save. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. The white screen before the Hall of Fame Before save. Hall, of Fame save, uh, Hall of Fame save and induction sequence. Oh, okay. That's what it says. Why did you confuse Ray? That's rude. Why did you psychic? That's rude. 
Let me kill you! Can you believe the audacity of this Zatu? <laughs> you know what I just realized we could have done? I could have timed at the end of credits, because it's like 15 minutes of credits. Oh, we would have been more even. <laughs> I think I would have lost, though. I don't think I don't think you were 15 minutes behind me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funniest thing about Will is he has back-to-back -back longest cries in the, in the game. No, he, goes really? from an, he goes from an executor to a Jinx. <laughs> yeah. I figured Jinx was one of them. <laughs> Jinx is the longest cry in this game. <laughs> That's funny. I think you can... What was the math? I think you could fit like 36 Pidgey cries <laughs> in in one Jinx cry. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, oh no. What? What? what for what? Why did you? It's like we had a couple people who are new to watching on live on Twitch today. Some YouTube viewers. So nice. Thank you all for joining us. Hope you had fun. I know I had fun. It's always Me fun too. doing doing GDQ hotfix with my bestest pal, Mr. J Hobbs. <laughs> I enjoy it too, buddy. <laughs> uh, Will down. Uh, Will down. Will down. We got four more fights: Koga, Bruno, Karen, and Lance. And I think out of all the fights left, the worst ones are going to be Koga and Karen. Well, Karen, because Karen control. Uh, while you're getting ready for that one, I uh, did want to just let people know if you want to, you know, get links to the various socials for GDQ and just kind of follow what's going on with the channel, then use exclamation point links in the Twitch chat. That is where you can find everything. Uh, and of course, if you've been watching, you've been enjoying tonight, you've been having fun, don't go anywhere because we are going to have another show right after this. And also, if you can uh, afford it, if you, if you have the means, please consider subscribing to the channel. Really helps us out a lot here at Hotfix Directly. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, I don't know, like, subscribe, do all the things that YouTubers that actually make content for YouTube are uh, telling you to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all that stuff. We don't know what we're talking about there, so. All right, since I don't have any PowerPoint restoring items, uh, Area does use double team, so I used an X accuracy. X accuracy in Gen 2 works the same as Gen 1 in the sense of it just, it deletes the concept of accuracy. There are no checks. You will land everything. And that does work with one-hit KO moves. But the biggest reason you don't see that utilized in this game is, one, there really isn't anything that learns a one-hit KO move conveniently enough for it to be faster. And two, which is this one it really isn't a problem for the speedrun, but it works differently in this game. So Gen 1 is the weirdo in the sense of you need to outspeed or speed tie in order for... Uh, in order for a one-hit KO move the hit, whereas this is you have to be of equal or greater level. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that X accuracy fully bypassed in this, like, in Gen 1. Yep. That's cool. I know that someone theory-crafted uh, trying to do Nitto King anyway. It, it did <laughs> not work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that X accuracy was also nice here because we used it, and since we're still we still have it up, not only did it stop us from missing the double teams, the two double teams, no less, on the area dose, but uh, we got to bypass the double team on that Crobat, so didn't have to worry about missing at all. Uh, nice. Missing in these fights is absolutely horrible, because <laughs> just like the rocket segment, your your move management is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, no PowerPoint restoring items, like, that's brutal. Yeah, the only... The old, old, old routes, you would pick up one or two. And then as the route got more optimized, you stopped picking them up. Um, I don't recall if you pick one up in Manipolis. Uh, you might pick up one. And I don't remember if you pick up any for uh, the current route. Like the actual Manip route. Mm -hmm. So does him on top always use dig there? And that's why you're just like, I just set up anyways. It's incredibly likely. I want to mm -hmm. say it's like 80 something percent to do that. It will sometimes not do that. In which case, uh, you would still set up the extra attack. You just set it up on something else. Mm -hmm. I think you would set it up on like the Hitmonlee. Because Hitmonchan does have Thunder Punch, I believe. 
Now, also in Gen 2, like, the the enemy the enemy trainers can put the poke like send Pokemon out in a different order, right? Does that ever mess yes. with you? Uh they consistently send it out in the same order if you have the same Pokemon out. So oh, Okay. So it's only if you're swapping to something mm -hmm. else they would do. Yep. Okay. That's good. Now I believe if I'm remembering correctly, um so we're gonna get Onyx last in this, because you know I'm a water type and Onyx is rock round, but I believe with the Raikou route, Onyx is the second thing sent out because you're electric. Right. Makes so sense. Like, there's, there's that, but it's predictable stuff. Alright, easy Bruno. Hopefully Karen doesn't, uh, doesn't troll us too bad. So having lost, I have no right to say anything. You, you can talk, dude. <laughs> you can <laughs> well, chat. We're just hanging out. We're just hanging out. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what... The, the big problem with Crystal as a run, at, at least from my perspective, is a lot of it is such a steamroll, even for a Pokemon game, that it's... it's it, there really isn't a lot to talk about with it. Hmm. Um... Let's see, Karen can mess with us by... Well, our health is, like, on the high side, so she's probably going to sand attack here. Oh, she didn't. Okay. Neat. Um, if she uses sand attack, we have another X accuracy. She can also confuse Ray. It's, it's really just status stuff that she can troll us with. So there's a confuse Ray, so we're going to go ahead and uh, full heal. She's going to sand attack now, I guarantee it. She's going to show us the, the full suite of how she could have messed with us. She didn't oh, do it! Oh. I'm a liar! <laughs> You're going to Gen 2 miss? Uh, yeah. and then... <laughs> oh, so there there right. actually is Gen 2 misses. They don't <laughs> is work... Is it just they're, like they're... 1 out of 60,000 or something? No, no, no. Or... So, uh... It's not, it's not a true miss like it is with, like, Gen 1. Uh, uh -huh. so... For whatever reason, AI and Gen 2 have a 1 in 4 chance for their status moves to fail. Like, even if it's 100 accurate. So, something mm. silly, like, uh... Zap Cannon, which, you know, if it hits, it's supposed to always paralyze. Or Dynamic Punch, which if it lands, it's it's supposed to always confuse. Has a 1 in 4 chance to not do that. That's funny. So, <laughs> that's, that's and it only applies to the AI. It, it doesn't apply to you. Yeah. So, it's it's the it's the Gen 2 miss. <laughs> like, Confuse really Ray can't miss, but it can. <laughs> There's, there's been a couple of randomizers where I was pretty much guaranteed to lose once they used Zap Cannon, but then they just didn't paralyze. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> wow. All right, not, not too eventful of a fight. Karen did do one of the two things that she could have done to slow down the fight, but it is done. And now we have one more fight left. Are we seeing a heal before this one or no? Absolutely. Okay. I figured. I was like, 87 health. Probably not enough to set up with... <laughs> Like the, I believe we could die to Gyarados' Hyper Beam. I don't know if the if a Hyper Beam crit will kill us, so I'm just gonna be safe and heal, and then also save, just in case. Okay, if it'll let me press the down button, please let me press the down button. Thank you. No, not the left button. Help! Help! I'm struggling. You can play. You can press everything but down. Oh my goodness. Man, my in-game time looks so bad because of the breaks in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright. Lance has to talk a lot, of course. Also, one of the best tracks in the entire game. Also, he's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the Batman cape! He does, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we do absolutely no setup on this fight. There were there were circumstances in older routes where if you had a spare X speed, you would use an X speed because uh, Aerodactyl outspeeds you, and it can get an ancient power boost, and that does slow a lot of stuff down. But uh, I, I guess that's been routed out. Mm. Also, Lance is clearly a cheater. All of his Dragonites aren't at evolution level. <laughs> Two forty sevens and a fifty. He just caught him in rando. It's fine. <laughs> True. 
and the 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 50 Dragonite is a range, but I think I'm actually gonna be at a level that you're not supposed to be. I think you're still you're supposed to still be 52 on it, but we're gonna be 53, so I'm gonna go for it. If we miss the range, we're not dead or anything, but if he oh, okay. <laughs> if he doesn't use Outrage, then he gets a free heal off of it. Mm. So it's just a turn waste. But we're gonna go for it. And the verdict is Hey ah, I'm a genius! Also, I'm, I'm sure we're on Keys' audio, but just to be safe, do not switch back to my audio from this point onwards. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Hearts doing Kingdom Hearts stuff. Uh, oh, there's the Ancient yeah. Power. Is it going to get the boosts? Okay. Uh, my heart stopped when he Ancient Power. <laughs> he, can anci he can Ancient Power or he can Wing Attack. I did have one attempt years ago where he actually did Ancient Power boost me, and I couldn't win from there because I just I was so no. low on everything. Oh my god. You know what? This is almost like beating red because the last mon that you fight is Charizard. So yeah. there you go. It's the same. Yeah, exactly. Same same exact thing. It was the same right, level of Charizard and everything for sure. Yep, definitely. Yep. Uh-huh. All right, time is going to be in like <laughs> a, a minute or so. There's just text I got to mash through. Mm -hmm. Overall, this wasn't too much of a discrepancy. No, honestly. And again, like, I, I, I had... No deaths, I think. Which I had not had a run up to this point with no deaths. Uh, you I, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I died. So like that, we were kind of banking on a few of those potentially, but I was banking on not hitting five spinners. <laughs> uh, interrupt me whenever it's time, but uh, want to remind mm -hmm. folks to stay tuned. After the break, we got Metroid Dread on how to train a speedrunner, hosted by Church and Sh Church and Sarge, and uh, that should be a really fun one because. Metroid Dread is super cool and honestly very accessible to learn speedrun, I think. Um, it has a lot of just trying to remember what room's coming up, but otherwise, like, you could totally learn that run. Uh, so, highly recommend I, staying I, I for that. I think time's about to happen if it's where I think you said. I think mm -hmm. time? Yeah, that yeah, should be That would be time. Think. That would be time. Yeah. Okay. GG. GG. You look look at you for alligator. <laughs> yeah, my, my brand new Defeat Lance PB. <laughs> Even though you can just look at my older run and just stop the time there and said, yep, yep, new, we new both PB. PB'd. We both PB. Hooray, we did it. <laughs> you know what? This is uh, this is actually a world record of uh, of Lance you got, PB. You got uh, of, this of, time, of huh? No, 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 no. No, it's world record of beating Lance inside a, a weatherman's house. I thought you were going to say it's world record for every spinner percent. <laughs> yeah, also every spinner percent. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here, folks. We're going to throw you over to Church and Sarge. Again, please stay tuned for some Metroid Dread on how to train a speedrunner. We will see you all next week for something very special, actually. We are yes. not going to be... We're going to be taking a short break. We're not done with the Kingdom Hearts vs. Pokemon, but we are going to take a one-week break from it because we are going to have a uh, an awesome person. We're going to have Gerard the Completionist on the show with us. Uh, we're going to be doing some Shovel Knight speedrunning. Should be super fun. So please be sure to tune in for that next week, 7 p.m. Eastern. And stay tuned for How to Train a Speedrunner in just a few minutes. Bye, everybody. Bye.